here we are in Minecraft Skyblock. Hello everyone. I'll give you a quick intro real, real quick for what Skyblock is. I hope everyone's doing well. It's Monday. Um, What are we doing today? I'm trying to think. I just, I'm just, this is my first time thinking today. So just give me a moment. I'm just starting up. Give me, give me a moment. Uh, so this is Skyblock. That's, no, that's wrong. Uh, this is Skyblock. Uh, if you don't know what Skyblock is, uh, we, it's a, the world is void. There's no blocks in the world. Uh, that's what we started with, except a tree and some dirt and some grass and a cube. L shape, technically. Um, and, uh, we started with a bucket of lava, two pieces of ice. Um, we have a little bit more than that now. Um, and today we're going to be building a raid farm in the void. That's what we're doing. Um, we've had a goals list. We're currently in the final phase of... Okay, good. For whatever reason, whenever I do this, it always, um, picks the wrong monitor, which is very annoying. If, uh, if it picked my left monitor, it would have spoiled the next Pokemon challenge, so you guys got bad luck on that one. Um, but yeah, you can see we're on, we're on phase four. I just added this for additional goals. Um, we finished the guardian farm yes, or last stream. You, who's raid farm, whoever's the easiest. I think ENX04 has like a really good one, right? Um, we need the totem of undying. We need the raid farm. We need every bucket type and we need to have a possible advancement. To get every possible advancement, we need to do the raid farm. To get the blue axolotl and every bucket type, we need to do the raid farm. Um, to get a potion of invisibility, we needed to AFK at this farm. Which, oh, would you look at that, I AFK'd overnight at this farm. So, we're going to try and get a potion of invisibility right at the start of the day. Um, so, let's do this. Goals for today. Invis potion plus raid slash raid farm. I'm just gonna say plus raid farm because it's like different. All right, goals for today. I'm excited. Let's get going. I'm gonna turn on some four hours of underrated Pokemon music. Hopefully that's a little. No, that's okay. I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Just give me a sec. All right, you're from YouTube. You're so sweet. Love your channel. Hey, I'm glad you like it. I right, just had to get rid of the water because... Uh, so what this farm is, this is our wandering trader farm. I'm just going to check. Okay. that That's after like a night of AFKing. It generates them so slowly. <laughs> the drip. Um, Before we feed the little fellas through, I do need to block them off. All right, is this vanilla or modded? This is vanilla Minecraft. No, nothing different. There we go. Okay, we can go through now. Good. And we have, really? I AFK'd for eight hours. Is this one? Really? Bruh. No shot. Video settings, particles, all. Let's see if there's any invisible ones. One there. Wow. Wow. Okay, I see. Well, um... <laughs> show us the guardian farm? Okay. I'm gonna just do this really quick, because this is on a time limit. Scammed. Yeah! We expect at least three or four after, after a night of AFK. Just bad luck today, I guess. Um, oh yeah, if you missed last stream, we redid our trophy wall. Uh, we're missing two things on the trophy wall. Our bucket of axolotl and our invisibility potion. Um, we're also missing two mob heads. Uh, too difficult to get mob heads, a skeleton and the zombie. But we have a little setup over there for whenever it, uh, whenever it thunders. But I'm just not gonna you finish it. Yeah, the video's almost ready. Uh, I think Divine is just finishing it up today. 
So that'll be out within a week, most likely. Yeah, we got uh, got Hoda the third. We got all of our nice armor. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sweet. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. We got all of our beacons. Oh, some good stuff. We got uh, our little friend. I can't remember what I named him. If we did name him. Anyways, right. I needed to sleep. Actually, yeah, screw it. You can only sleep at night during thunderstorms. Okay, apparently it's daytime. Doppler, thank you for the five subs. Small Mario Odyssey video is really good. Yeah, Divine did a really good job of that. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to come up with a good video because I, I thought about it, and I think it would be cool to upload an edited Path of Pain onto YouTube. The problem with that was it, it took 20 minutes, so, like, editing it down is, like, difficult because if you edit it down, how much is left? But, uh, I think, uh, that, that's currently being edited. There's, um, Pokemon Challenge being edited right now. Uh, this week, later this week, I'm probably gonna edit, uh, a video. Be great if I could see this little dude. So, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of little things that are very exciting. I can't tell if he's in the boat or not. He's definitely pushing the boat. Okay, he's in there now. Do you need more video editors? I, it's So, here's the thing. It, it's hard to say because, like... Oh, did he get back in the boat? Where is he? It would help if he wasn't so invisible, you know? My man ran back over here. Okay. If I move to Canada, can you edit your videos? You don't need to move to Canada to edit the videos. I don't think... Yeah, none of my editors technically live in Canada. One's in... One's in Germany, and I think two is in the US, I think. I need to make sure not to hit this guy. Ah, ah. Nope. Okay. We need to... Stop. Ha, ha. Broken jump. I've never seen this before. The other guys didn't want to jump. Okay, so what we need to do to get a potion of invisibility is there's an 11% chance for these little fellas to, um... There we go. There's an 11% chance, 11.5% chance for when we kill these guys for them to drop, uh... Uh, that. The, the invisibility potion. Actually, we need to get him away from an opening. Here we go. Have you beat the Battle Frontier in Pokemon? I've actually never beat the Battle Frontier in Pokemon, despite playing it all my freaking life. Never done it. How many hits did we say it was with the sword? If we just go one, two, three? I can't remember. But, uh... Mm, what time is it? I don't even know. It was three hits with the sword? Are we certain of this? It's just three neutral hits? The Saw Lickle's newest video? I know, I watched it last night, yeah. Can we increase the chance from 11? Well, it's 11.5%, and that's already increased with a looting three. Did you strike trades first? Uh, I guess Pink Tulip and Bubble Coral we should probably uh, actually try and get, because that's the only way to get those. It was three with this sword? Yeah, I don't know. Because this sword has smite. Doesn't have looting. Okay, this should be enough to buy out all the trades. You know what's cool about Lickle's new video? I'm pretty sure... Or no, not Lickle's new video. Um, never mind. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, boom, bam, bam, bam. Alright, that's, I think, the only way to get pink tulips, or not the only way, but it, they're very hard to get. Three to kill, two to get a potion. I don't think that's how it works. Alright, let's put our emeralds back. Uh, we need to wait until it's almost nighttime, so we're just going to keep an eye on the sky. If it ever has a thunderstorm, we need to get some charged creepers. Um, what we need to do before that, though, is actually store some creepers so we can charge them. How'd the guardian farm turn out? Um... One sec, let me check the time. Okay, it's midday. Um, what's the version? 1.18.2, most recent version's released. 
Uh, I'll show you guys the guardian farm. You guys want to see it? This is pretty, pretty fancy. Yeah, there's our first tulips. Cool. These are all... The, this is from Wandering Traders. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, we built the Wandering... Or, we built the Guardian Farm last time. Uh, that was... Which direction? I think it was over here. It's very precarious because I knew we wouldn't have to go here very often. Why do you need the tulips? Um, if... Wandering traders have you ever give you anything that only wandering traders can give you? It's best to just buy all of them. Just in case you need it in the future. Because, like, wandering traders... I, I literally AFK'd for, I think it was 10 hours. At the wandering trader farm, and we ended up with one wandering trader. And it is as optimal as it gets. So, yeah, this is our, um... This is the chest. We've emptied them out recently. So, these are what the chests look like right now. Uh, but this is the, the Guardian farm. We do need to run a little bit to it. Guardians are the large one-eyed fish. Yep. Uh, you will see them as I run across. Yeah, there we go. So, there's the Guardians. Basically, they, uh, this is where a monument is supposed to be. We filled it up with water. Layered a b layer of soul sand and then just have a bunch of uh, things that go to the middle. Well, oh, maybe we should add railings here Maybe we should add railings in hindsight or like a way so they can't see me You know why is my frame rate so ass? 118 things So yeah, they basically, uh, they all spawn, they rise up, they go into the portals, and that, and then they die in the nether. So that is our guardian farm we finished last time. You turn on particles? I only turned them off because I couldn't, while I was building this farm, I couldn't see because these little things were causing so many particles. Oh shit. No, that's fine. Ender pearls go slightly left or right. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they could move uh, a little bit off. What's the guardian farm for again? Sea lanterns and just those kind of blocks. You can't go one chunk with freezing up for four minutes. I don't know. I mean, I went through that phase two Celestis elements. Okay, I remember when I was a uh, when I was in in school still, and yeah, you can see, you know, they filled up the first row or so. Basically, you AFK there for like 15 minutes, all those chests fill up. It's to build like buildings later on. It's just for resources later on when we build cool shit. When is next hide and seek? Literally tomorrow. But yeah, I remember when I first started playing Minecraft, it was on a little PC that was bought at like Costco for like 150 bucks. Little. Like, it was like this big. Like that, just tiny and I was like running Minecraft on like three chunks for like 30 FPS I powered through uh, Okay, it's probably almost nighttime. So let's go and uh, Let's go back over here Talk to our, uh, our little fella You built all that? I built all of this, yeah, all by myself. Ah, shit. That's really bad. Damn it. We were too late. We gotta wait ten more minutes. Set an alarm for eight minutes. We won't forget this time. What's bad about being in invisible? Invisi- What the heck was that? What's wrong with him being invisible? So, to get an invisibility potion, you need to kill wandering traders while they are drinking the potion. So the fact that he had already drank the potion means he won't drink it again. And we just need to be ready to kill him.
You already build the witch farm? Oh yeah, witch farm's done. Yeah, witch farm... Witch farm gave us, uh... Gave us a health potion, a swiftness potion, a water breathing potion, a, um... Instant damage potion and a slowness potion. We made those by using fermented spider eyes on healing and swiftness, by the way. But yeah, we made bleach. I didn't know there's an ocean monument. Explore the seed that's n normally with blocks. Uh, so yeah, raid farm today. Uh, first order of business is getting to a pillager tower. So we're just near a pillager tower to initiate it. Because uh, here's the thing, here's the thing. I could turn the Wandering Trader farm into a combination Wandering Trader farm and Pillager farm. Because every 20 minutes, Pillagers try to spawn on regular blocks if the light level is below 7, I believe. So, we could just make like a dynamic system where like the lights change depending on the time of day and depending on what mode it is in, whether Wandering Trader or Pillagers. But we're not going to do any of that, and we're just going to find a Pillager Tower where they just naturally spawn. Because that's way easier and way more efficient. You don't watch CJ because he insults people? Everybody insults people. I don't think that's a great reason. And uh, from from what I've seen, CJ really only insults people that deserve it. I'm gonna be honest. You like money? I think everybody kind of likes money. If they don't like money, then they dislike the absence of it. That's for sure. Is there an end portal in this map? No, there's no end portal. Exactly, and since we're on topic, fuck you, Ant. Hey, uh, uh, language. Alright, um... What are we doing for the time being? How much is left on the challenge? Like, uh, you can check the goals using the skyblock command. Tweet? Foul. Thanks for the 10. Uh, I'm just gonna open up the other world really quick. The, uh, the, the sky block, but with the blocks, if that makes sense. And I'm pretty sure we had, uh, a pillager tower somewhere nearby. So I'm just gonna get it real quick. Get the coordinates to a pillager tower. I know you've been trying to work on not shut down chat or viewers perception, but it could have been on YouTube clips. Oh, yeah. It's just, I don't know. The thing is, the, yeah, I, be, I said that recently. I've been trying to uh, do that a little bit less. Dunk on people in chat that just don't know what they're talking about. Because, like, a good amount of the time it's not their fault and they're just new. It's so hard, though. Frames? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm opening up Minecraft again. Uh, apparently, uh, opening up two instances of 118... A computer that has the best specs you could buy, uh, can't handle two M Minecrafts at once. Ridiculous. Alright. Um, wow, the closest pillager outpost is... Very far away. How do you get diamonds in Skyblock? You do not. You do not get diamonds in Skyblock. Alright, so I need to remember these coordinates, chat. Alright. Uh, 1577. 62. Negative 871. And you know what? You don't even need to remember them because I copied and pasted. Alright, I closed the other Minecraft. I got the Pillager Outpost cords. Boom. Pillager Outpost. There. That's our Pillager Outpost. Lorelei, thank you so much for the 25 gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. There's a lot. Your job was taken? Yeah. Alright. 
Wait, I wonder if this is full. I, I think, um... I'm pretty sure this farm actually exists in the spawn chunks. So... No, it doesn't. Never mind. Why is there a... Some weirds going on. Da -da. I see a distinct lack. Of iron golems. Hmm. It's a little weird. Maybe I just need to sleep. Probably just need to sleep. You can put one iron in every spot to prevent poppies. No, that would just clog up the hoppers with poppies. Such a small and simple farm. It does such a good job, too. Alright, how much time we got left? I really don't want to miss this one, because this could be the trader that gives us what we need, man. I don't know why we had that iron sword with looting, mending, and unbreaking. I, I actually have no clue. Because we have this. So why did we have that? Could filter them out? Yeah, I just haven't felt like filtering them yet. Okay, let's put everything back. And yeah, we, we have the coordinates. I'm just going to probably watch a tutorial. They're a little bit complicated, but as long as you do it right, they're not too bad. What's the invisibility potion for? To say we've had it. Uh, I have a... Basically, my goal for this world is to do everything you possibly can in Skyblock. And so, I want to get every possible potion type. And we're only missing invisibility now. Okay, um... I think when he starts to drink it, I'll just go... I'll just smack him twice. Alright, there's our alarm. We're just gonna wait here. And we're just gonna go with a boom, boom. A quick double jump. Seeing the skyblock world being built is very addictive. I feel like the, the YouTube video of, like, all of it put together is gonna be really satisfying, too. What about a potion of luck? You just literally can't get that. Potion of luck. I feel like that should have been with the rabbit's foot. I'm gonna be honest. Because aren't rabbit's feet supposed to be lucky or something? But I need to I need to just watch this wandering trader and wait until he's holding the invisibility potion because he needs to die while he's holding it. Hitting him once so he's weaker. Here we go. I just gotta watch him, because we need the invisibility. Come on. Come on. Waiting for invisibility. Don't want to miss it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drink it. Coward, drink it. Drink it. Come on. Drink the potion. I can't look away. We have to get it at, like, he has like half a second where he drinks it. Whew. 
Why is this taking so long? It's not night time yet? Come on. Come on. Come on. Still no potion, man. We've killed so many wandering traders, bro. <sighs> well, we'll have to AFK some more. Just use puffer fish. <laughs> Good meme. Alright, well, no invisibility potion today. We'll get it next time. Raid farm. That's the goal for today now. And everything that comes with a raid farm as well. It's mad that's how to get an invisibility potion? Yeah. A wandering trader has an 11.5% chance to drop it. In the 0.5 seconds that it takes to drink the invisibility potion. Ridiculous, right? Alright, anyways. No invisibility potion today. Didn't get the roll. Uh, will you get a totem today? Yes, we'll be getting a totem. Uh, most likely we're getting an axolotl today. A bucket of axolotl. We might not get a blue axolotl, but we'll get a bucket of axolotl. Um, we'll have infinite emeralds, infinite saddles. Um, we'll be killing a few new mobs for the first time, um, which adds to our advancements of kill one of every hostile monster. We won't be able to kill everything, um, because we'll never be able to kill, uh, Elder Guardian, Dragon, or, what's the third one? The third one is, uh, Elder Guardian, Dragon, Shulker. Won't be able to ever kill those three, but we'll be able to get 31. Uh, out of all of those. Um, I really wish there was a way to get Amethyst. A husk? Oh yeah, that'll take a while to get. Um, adventuring time is gonna take a while. I really wish you could get one diamond. They can smelt the armor down. Uh, all of the nether goals are done, I believe. Wait, have we not gotten our ballistic yet? Have we gotten our ballistic yet? I don't even think we have, have we? Tame all cat variants. Whatever. Um, breed all the animals. We should breed more animals because we can breed almost everything. Um, whatever floats your goat. We can do that. Probably not today. Can you kill piglin brutes? We can never kill piglin brutes. No. Uh, that one we'll have to do more of. We can never finish it, but we need to do more of it. Yeah, pretty much it's like getting that number higher. Um, we can do that getting that number higher we don't we can get everything except for um um this one we can do everything except mushrooms this one we have to spawn a goat so that might just be afk these we can't do yeah nether i i don't think we have our ballistic yet do we Two birds, one arrow. We will be doing that one today. We will be doing this one today. Alright. Advancements Minecraft. Will you do a Bros v Bros with Ludwig? Yeah, if I can think of something good. Will you get that amazing mug? I have no idea. It's my roommate's. Okay, I'm just gonna look to see uh, any hidden advancements. Because I know there are a few hidden advancements that I do not have. Um, how do we get here? We can't do. We can't do remote getaway. The end again. You need a mint. City at the end of the game. Sky's the limit. Great view from up here, unfortunately. Sad. Um, we will, actually, there's a few goals that aren't visible yet in Adventure, I think. Unless we already have Voluntary Exile. Have we got Voluntary Exile yet? Should be in Adventure? Yeah. 
Voluntary Exile we're going to get today. Um, it spreads. Weird. Kill a mob near Skulk Catalyst. Oh. Those are... Yeah, whatever. Caves and Cliffs. Free Fall from the Top of the World. Wait, we already did that one, right? Yeah, we did that one. Fall from the Top of the World. Good. Hero of the Village we're going to do today. Um, we're going to be doing Post Mortal today. Uh, I think we've already done Hired Help, right? Yeah, we've done Hired Help several times. Um, we're going to get Arbalistic. Light as a Rabbit we've done. Yes. Sniper Duel we've done. Yes. Bullseye we've done. Okay. Efficient business. I'm just going to see that I'm I'm not missing anything. Uh, no, no secret things anywhere around here. No. All right. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you already do two birds, one stone? I have done two birds, one stone. It's right here. Or two birds, one arrow. Did you get Star Trader? We did get Star Trader. You cannot get Deep Slate, no. Uh, do you guys want to try and get Arbalistic right now? I think we can probably get Arbalistic right now. Because that's kill five mobs with one arrow, I think. Five unique mobs with one. And I think there are... Um... Let's see, we could breed a horse. We could breed... A pig. Horse, pig, sheep, chicken, fish. Yeah. Is it just me or is this chicken not dropping any eggs? Weird. Okay. Oh wait, I haven't tamed you yet? That's so f I haven't tamed these horses. Kinda funny. Never tamed them. Wait, we're actually getting egg? If the chicken's from a chicken jockey? It isn't from a chicken jockey. It's naturally- everything down here is naturally spawned. Maybe we just- Hasn't laid one in a while. Alright. You and you. We're gonna breed them. Okay. So sorry about this. Okay. Uh-huh. Ah, shit. That killed it. Well, fortunately, we have a child. My bad. I didn't think that was going to kill it. <laughs> rip, I guess. Yep. Big rip. Actually, uh, we have name tags. We have blocks. Let's go do the creeper thing. Because I don't know if we have creepers in holes right now. No creeper holes. No creeper holes. Come here. You. Hey. Oh. Cool. Alright. There's one in a hole. And we'll probably end up putting one... Uh, back here. Yeet the pickaxe again? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do it. Not because I don't want the subs, but because I don't want you wasting money. Every time you come into chat and you're like, yeet the pickaxe for 50 subs. And I yeet it and I get the pickaxe back in like 10 seconds. But it's... I'm doing it... For, I'm not doing it for your sake. Okay? Oh, yo, there's another creeper. Nice. 
We can just do this right now. Yeah, come here. Bro? What the? How did he make that jump? How did he do that? I've never seen anything like it. Come here. No, the goddamn Enderman is in my creeper hole. Not okay, dude. Okay, let's fix that. I didn't even think that was going to be an issue. Never even considered it could have been. But yeah, we need to save some... I should really make this, like, not a death machine. Because 100% we are going to fall off and just die. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Better idea. Bam, bam. Wait. Clint's friend, thank you for the 25 subs. What's a creeper hole for? We're storing creepers so we can, uh... Uh, we're storing creepers, so we can make them charge creepers when a thunderstorm happens. Who's Clint? Um, he's the guy whose, uh, bedroom my Clips channel guy uses as the background in every one of my Clips thumbnails. I don't know if that mess sentence made sense. Creepers are stored in the holes. Yeah. Do you need to get all advancements? Yep. Yo, there's a creeper. We're getting lucky on spawns. Come here. Do you like hot dogs? Everybody likes hot dogs. <laughs> Especially furries. Okay. Hot dog mode. Okay, we have two creepers stored. This is our creeper hole home thing. Uh, and now, all we need to do is get a skeleton, get a zombie in the holes beside the creepers. Do -do -do -do. And once that's done, we'll be able to uh, charge the creepers, blow them up next to those mobs, and we're, uh, we got our mob heads. Then, yeah, we'll just go, like, wait for, like, 30 seconds for a wither skeleton skull. We'll be done. Ninjo, just ashes. Thanks for the subs. Okay, okay. Um, we can put these back for now. Let's, uh, just get rid of some of these things. Nether blocks. Mob drops. Yo, we could probably eat, like, a few things right now. And just, like, get some more food. Okay, wait. There's this one. Two by two, breed all the animals. Eat all the food. We're at 14. Uh, I'm just gonna... Give me a, there we go. We're 14. Advancements. We're at 15. Let's go. I'm in pain. There should be like a... Yeah, we should have a bunch of coal. There we go. Who are you racing on Wednesday? Oh yeah, do you guys want to know who I'm racing in Pokemon on Wednesday? I, f I figured it out. Uh, I got a, a bunch of people responded, and I basically just took the first three people that DM'd me. Um, 
We're racing Num Nexus, Link is 7, and H Bomb. With like two numbers after it. 94 maybe? It's a four way race. You can press L. Thank you. Alright, cook salmon. All three at the same time. Yep. Alright. 16 balanced diet. Let's go. Is there anything else we can eat right now? Like, have I eaten a raw and cooked pork chop? Have I eaten raw and cooked mutton? I don't know. Let's find out. Trade with librarians to get a looting book. Press the space bar to jump. But yeah, we got the... Uh, Got a bunch of real cool teams or no teams? Nah, it's a free-for-all. Alright. Can you get mushrooms? Yes, I should eat mushrooms too. Challenge accepted. There we go. Okay, let's eat cooked mutton. Boom. I, this is kind of hilarious that I need to set myself on fire to make myself hungry. Can you help everyone except since they're new? I think, I know Num Nexus and Linkus are practicing. Because I was like, it is very difficult unless you know what you're doing. And they're like, oh, don't worry. And I'm like, okay. Jump a bunch. Take off my armor. Ow, 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 ow. Oh god, stop, drop, and roll, no jump. Jump and, jump and scream in excruciating pain. I think you've misunderstood the concept of burned calories. Wait, what am I doing? I'm cooking food directly beside a smoker. I'm so, so many people. We're screaming right there. Alright, we're at 19 foods. Um, pork chop. Raw and cooked cod, maybe? Raw and cooked chicken, maybe? Raw and cooked apple, maybe? No, we've definitely eaten that. I'm so sorry. I I'm not gonna set this on fire, because if it goes away, we just die. But yeah, we're eating a few things to get that advancement down. You can cook apples, apple pie. Yo, yeah, wait, we can get, like, rabbit stew and stuff. You're, you're totally right. Alright, eat the cooked chicken. Alright, eat the raw chicken. Is it possible to get a notch apple? That's the only food you can't get, I'm fairly sure. Uh, oh, actually, you, can get, you can't get one more food. I think about it. You can't get, um... Pop, coarse fruit. Give me hunger. Ah, uh, coward. Coward. Uh, I don't think we have a smoker man, but I think... You give us cookies and sussy stew. So I'm gonna buy a cookie. I'm gonna buy some sussy stew. What do you think this is gonna be? Poison! I wonder what the other one is. Blindness! Alright. Uh, we have the raw cod we should eat still. What else can we eat? Cat. We need a rabbit stew. I think we can trade for that. Uh, I think we've eaten baked potato. I think we've eaten melon. We haven't, we haven't had pumpkin pie yet. I know that. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just getting more food for the eat all things goal. Rotten flesh for hunger? Rotten flesh actually isn't good for lowering hunger, which is surprising. We've already eaten a pufferfish for get all potion effects at the same time. Goal. Let's eat a cookie. Uh, red berries might not be able to be... Wait, can we get red berries? Can we not breed foxes? Wandering traders might sell them. Wait, let me check. Red berries might spawn if you bone meal in the right area. 
I don't know. I'm gonna make some mush like regular mushrooms too. We might never be able to be breed foxes, which is kind of sad. And taigas? Well, taigas don't exist, but if we place dirt and grass and taigas and then, like, go w crazy with it, like, just bone meal the ground. Beetroot as well? I should probably keep those bowls. Yeah, we might not be able to make beetroot stew, because I don't know if we can get beetroot seeds. Maybe we can? Oh, we can get beetroot seeds. Look at that. Boom. Uh... I think we have bone meal in one of these chests. Should be an animal drops. Yep. Uh, you. How do you get prismarine? Oh, it's a long and arduous process. I think we need to eat a raw one, as well as uh, we need six for beetroot stew. It's stupid. How many seeds does this make? Wait, what? How do you get more beetroot seeds? How do you get more beetroot seeds? What? Oh, wait, they give them back. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was concerned that we might not... <laughs> Be able to get enough here, but no, it's fine. Alright, I'm pretty sure we have like a million red flowers, so we're just gonna go... Did you watch my stream on your birthday? Hey, happy birthday! Thanks for the sub, 17. You get two after the harvest? That is so pog. Alright, I'm just gonna... Butterfly glue. What can we talk about? This is, it's, 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 let's have a good conversation today. You don't have a mob farm? Yeah, I just don't want to walk over there. And I actually recently took all of my bones for the wood farm. Uh, we don't have a good wither skeleton farm. It's awful. Um, so... Yeah, I, I kind of just... Made a temporary blaze slash wither farm. Because the blazes we don't actually need. Seven, that's the exact amount we needed. Good. I'm going to put these seeds back because they are very precious to us. Um... Doo -doo. Alright, let's set ourselves on fire a little more. No, I broke it. Drink honey. Have we drank honey yet? I don't even know. Maybe we haven't drank honey yet. I gotta have some bowls somewhere in here, right? Nope, alright, let's make more bowls. Boop. Okay, beetroot stew. Beetroot stew is the worst food in the game. It takes six beetroots to make, and it replenishes nearly nothing. Okay, so there's a beetroot, and then there's beetroot stew. Just awful. Awful stew. Um, Alright, let, let's look at this. Look at this. We, we cranked this number up. Now we're at 25 out of 40. What else can we eat right now? Um, I'm going to take this smoker. Really quick. Actually, I'll just make a new one. Just make a new smoker. Uh, boom. A spider eye? I swear we've had a spider eye. My friend went on my Twitch and followed like 30 ASMR streamers. And now we're gonna go up to the villager area. And 
we're going to trade with one of the villagers. <laughs> I don't watch ASMR streams. I don't know how it goes. How'd I do? Spider eyes? I'm fairly sure we've eaten a spider eye. Uh, we have not eaten any raw rabbits, I can tell you that much. Uh, man, you only take raw for... Really? I don't have that stuff. There we go. Okay, rabbit stew, that'll be new. Uh, you know what, let's... Take all the rabbit stews we can, just to level them up. Because I don't actually know what butchers can trade. So we're about to find out. What about glow berries? Huh. Eight chickens. Interesting. Who do you think is better at SMO than you? Flickle fur or CJ? Uh, I think fur is probably the best. Fur has actually, like, spent a lot of time grinding. Like, he, he has had, like, a ton of, like, competitive world records. I think CJ probably would agree with that, too. Dried kelp block? Bro, that's awful. Alright, whatever. Seems like Rabbit Stew is the only good thing those guys have. Glowberry kind of awful. Glowberries are awful. I don't think there's any way to get glowberries, either. Can you get kelp? Yeah, we already ate kelp. I remember we did eat kelp, because we have a kelp farm. Okay, uh, pumpkin, I guess? Pumpkin pie? We can make pumpkin pie now? Why is it not showing up there, bro? Could've traded with a villager for that, but... Nah. <laughs> milk? We've eaten, eaten milk, we've eaten a golden carrot, we have cake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's make another flint seal, I guess. Uh, you. Just constantly setting myself on fire so I can eat. Both golden apples. Uh, you can't do um, enchanted golden apples anymore, unfortunately. Raid farm today is big, yeah. There you go. Okay. What are we missing now? We've eaten 27 of 40. Let, let's let's make a let's make a list of stuff we haven't eaten that we could possibly eat. Let's let, let's make a, a wall of food that we need to eat. How are you going to get the advancement if you can't eat god apples? I'm not going to get the advancement. But we're going to do as much as we can. Just use the AA tracker. Yeah, wait. I could just open up the AA tracker and I bet it would pick it up, right? Eat a puffer fish? We've already eaten it. Okay, wait. Okay. It's just updating the tracker, and we're, we can just use the tracker to see if maybe. Turn off the beacon, I guess. I'm waiting. It's starting up. It, it's taking its sweet time to start up. Did I just download malware? Maybe. Uh, let's open up my downloads folder. Extract here. Work. What? Okay. 
Okay. Open. See same. Aha, there we go. Okay. I can't get the... Oh my god. It's not letting me see the side of it. Wow, it looks pretty now. It's not letting me grab... How do you... Okay, wait. I have a question. This is dumb. How do you... How do you open up the tracker when it's... Oh, never mind. It did it right. Okay, we need to eat... Um... Food's eaten. We need to eat cooked cod. Uh, we're missing... Uh, we're missing raw beef, apparently. We needed cooked cod. Do we have raw beef? We don't have any raw beef. We need to eat rabbit, raw rabbit, tropical fish, potato and poison potato, glowberries, chorus fruit, honey bottle, spider eye. Wait, I haven't eaten a spider eye yet. You guys were right. I complete. I totally thought I ate a spider eye, but I guess not. Let's eat a spider eye. Good. On the chest, that's raw beef. Oh my god, you're right. That is raw beef on the chest. Uh, that's. <laughs> kind of funny let's let's put a cooked pork chop there all right you know what let's put a raw pork chop no one's gonna notice the difference right boop, boop, boop. no one will notice Do pop, 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 pop. all right this this tracker makes it really easy to see what we're missing we're missing arbalistic we're missing uh the cutest predator healing power friendship uh, complete catalog adventuring time uh, voluntary Exile, Hero of the Village, Post Mortal. Uh, we're missing a lot of biomes. But less than you would expect. Uh, we're, we're only missing 38 biomes currently. Uh, monsters Hunted. We have not killed a husk. We have not killed a stray. Uh, we have not killed the cave spider. We never will. I didn't even think about that. We can't kill cave spiders or silverfish. We have not killed a hoglin or a zoglin. Oh, that'll be interesting to try and spawn those. Uh, we'll be killing a vindicator, evoker, vex, and a ravager today. Yeah, we'll be able to get... Okay, so it looks like we won't be able to kill one, two, three, four, five, six out of the 34 mobs. You can let yourself on fire while you jump. Oh, I guess that's true. Are you going to build a normal raid farm? We're going to build the ENX04 stacking raid farm, I think. Alright, we can eat the spider eye now. We can eat the raw beef now. And, uh... Rabbits are going to be a little bit tough. What else can we eat right now? Tropical fish. We might have a bucket of tropical fish sitting around. To, mu to munch on? Maybe not. Um, we will we will get a bucket of tropical fish later today uh, when we find our lush cave. So that's nothing to worry about. So we can just place down a tropical fish and, and eat it later on. Um, I'm just going to double check that we don't have it though. I don't think we do. Okay. Are you going to check collect all the tropical fish? Aren't there like 80,000 tropical fish? It's a little ridiculous. Uh, we need a potato and a poison potato, apparently, we haven't eaten. Let's hope a poison potato drops here. Damn it. Um, I'm not gonna force a poison potato. We're just gonna wait for one to appear. But I just, I just haven't eaten a regular potato, apparently. Which is kind of crazy. There are 3,587 variants. That'll take years. Cake? Cake actually isn't in the list. Which is weird. Okay, regular potato, that's good, um, boom, okay, honey bottle we need to eat, I, I'm amazed we haven't got honey bottle yet, that actually blows my mind we haven't got a honey bottle yet, come on, 
I didn't realize they restored hunger. Huh. That's kind of cool. Are these the eight minute ones? No, these are the three minute ones. Okay, there's another one. Uh, we have 32. Look at this, look at this. Advancements. 32 out of 40. Pretty amazing, right? Uh, rabbit, raw rabbit. Um, I think we won't be able to eat sweet berries, glow berries, chorus fruit, and god apple. So, four out of the 40. We're missing four more. We're missing tropical fish, poison potato, rabbit, and raw rabbit. If anyone knows how to get, uh, glow berries or sweet berries in Skyblock, I will, if, if, I will give you a sub. If you, if you tell me a way to do that. Mm, it looks like for breeding animals, we actually haven't bred a sheep yet or a cow. <laughs> sweet berries you can get because foxes can spawn with sweet berries in their mouth. All right, who said that? Joe Ott said the foxes spawn with him in mouth. Slash user Joe underscore Ott. Are you subbed? Previously subbed for one month. Messages. Don't foxes spawn with stuff in their mouth? Is this true? I'll give him a sub. I'm gonna check. Fox Minecraft. I know they can hold emeralds. Rarely. I've seen that before. Holding items. They have a 20% chance to hold emerald, rabbit's foot, rabbit hide, egg, wheat, leather, feather. Nope. They cannot hold them. You almost got a sub. I'm just going to look for uh, red berries. Sweet berries. There we go. Uh, obtaining natural generation. Bushes, sweet berries can be found in tiger chests. They generate each chance is a 1 in 12 chance to spawn them. Growth, food, composting, breeding, trading. Master level butchers offer to buy 10 sweet berries. Okay, we cannot get sweet berries. Okay, they... they... They can be collected from a sweet berry bush. So we can't get red berries. We can never breed foxes. If you get a skeleton to shoot a glow squid during a thunderstorm, it drops a glow berry. I don't believe you, but... Um, glow berries can be collected from a cave. Um, growth, food, light, compost, and breeding. Glowberries can be fed to foxes to breed them? Really? Glowberries can use on baby foxes through the time they grow. Uh, sweet berries and glowberries act the same for breeding foxes. That's cool. Alright. I can't find... yet. Yeah. Okay, let's breed these two. So that's two more that are bred. Uh, we can't breed any cows because we can't spawn any more cows at the moment. One of our llamas jumped into the void, so we can't do that. The sheep are not bred. Correct, they're sheep. Oh, we haven't bred any chickens. Chicken? Have we bred chickens? Wait, let me double check. Um, the animals we have bred, pig... Chicken, pig, sheep, chicken, horse, turtle. Um, uh, we will be able to breed cow. Oh, we haven't bred cats. How have we not bred cats yet? Oh my goodness. Do it. Wait, why can I not right click to unclick them? There we go. Do it. Screw.
I am so confused. Okay, they're doing it, it seems. That's good. And we bred another cat. Sit, sit, sit. Um, alright. Ocelot, wolf. We can never breed a fox. We can breed rabbits. Llamas, mules, donkeys, goats, pandas, axolotl, strider, hoglin. Uh, we can never breed strider, hoglin, fox, mushroom. So we can never breed four of the 21 animals. Um, I'm just looking through everything. I don't want to. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Complete catalog. We have tamed two of eleven cat types. Yikes. That'll take a while. Killed the baby. No. Don't want to. All right, come here. Let's go. Back over here. Come on. Good. Yeah, you get on the chest now. Okay. There's a glitch spawn with the mine shafts, and there are glow berries. No, no, there are not. Okay, why do people keep saying "mia"? Look, can you guys say "mia"? Same name the new cat, Blooperoni. Blooperoni. You think we can compost apples? Oh. Okay, well, I have an idea then. Wait, I thought I sat you down, bro. Blu-ray. Get back over here. There we go. It's because of that emote. There, that's meow. Come here, Blu-ray. Ba back in your house where it's safe. You can get a drip leaf from wandering traders, which you can grow with bone meal to get glow berries. You cannot trade for drip leaf. That's in an older version of Minecraft. We've tr we've gotten everything, I think. Let me check. I think that's in an older version. Trading. Alright. Trades. They can trade any type of flower or seed. Or red mushrooms or vines. Or any type of dye. Or blue orchid or sand or sugar cane. Lily of the valley, red sand. Lily pad, small drip leaf. Wait, you're right. They do trade small drip leaves and sea pickles. How have do, have we never seen the sea pickle trade or the small drip leaf trade? How have we never seen that? No, you were totally right. Okay, small drip leaf using bone meal. Causes it to turn into a big drip leaf. They cannot grow on their own. I mean, it doesn't give us glow berries, but we can How have we never gotten that trade or the sea pickle trade? I mean, I'm. we've seen like 30 wandering traders. That's absurd, dude. Try pickle but whole. Yeah. Alright, I was gonna make a, a little farm really quick. Um, redstone dispenser.
Cause we just we just have like a million apples. I don't know what it's from, but we have like a million apples. I was just gonna like uh comparator. I'm pretty sure this does something, right? No, I'm dumb. Maybe it... Does it need to start from here? Bro, I can't remember. I give up. We're just gonna do the... this. Stop. Does it need to be a dropper? Or a hopper? Needs to be on top. Oh my god. Huh. That's crazy. I didn't know that. It is so easy. I'm just gonna leave this on with all the extra garbage that I have because we have just so much trash like what do I not need I, I had no idea that was a thing we actually don't have a ton of stuff now that I'm looking at it yeah Rockwell thank you put some of our bamboo in it I could put some bamboo in it, why not? Boom. Some seeds in, sure. Put the armor back on, I don't know why I took that off. Okay. Put all our redstone gear back. Why did I take that stuff off? I don't know. This, oh, well, I'll just dump that in there for now, just in case. Have you eaten the tropical fish? No, we haven't had the tropical fish trade. Or we haven't, we haven't seen tropical fish yet. We will be doing that today, because we need to find a lush cave today. I'm just going to put this in the food one. We can't sleep, because it resets the weather cycle, by the way. That's why I'm not sleeping yet. Okay, bamboo doesn't work. Looks like you're right. Thank you. Bamboo does not compost. Ah, shit. Alright, I need a poisonous potato, please. Shit, that's the wrong thing. Boom, boom, boom. It's only one in like 200. It's not that terrible of odds, right? Yeah, I guess the poppies from the iron farm. Although I did just dump every single poppy out. There might be some leftover poppies. Nope, not a lot. Put a composter under the kelp farm. The kelp farm is really slow, I'm gonna be honest. And we might need it for other projects. Like, it is barely... Barely keeping up. Don't you have a tree farm? Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Isn't this... There's no apples there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saplings? I don't think I really need the saplings. No, 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 no. I want those poisonous potatoes. We're going to get them today. For sure. Just put a composter under the iron farm. That would be a good thing to do. Just to automatically filter out all the red stuff. But I'm lazy. And honestly, manually doing it doesn't take that long. You have a source of bones? We, are, we have all the resources for a wither skeleton farm, but I just haven't made it yet. Like, a, a really easy turn your brain off wither skeleton farm. Because we got a bunch of wither roses. But yeah, we kind of always... N we, we will need that. So I always have a, uh, a thing. <gasps> Poisonous potato! Let's go! Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Poisonous potato, that's another food eaten. And we're free from doing this. The only things we need left are, uh... Uh... Rabbits and tropical fish. For eating. And then we've, we've eaten everything. Look at that. 33 out of 40. We can only have three more things. Uh... That one's going to take a while, because getting animals to spawn sucks. Oh, it's done. Cool. Um, but yeah, we can't actually have a fully balanced diet. I'm so sad. Alright, um, I think it's time we do the... Uh, the platform to the villager outpost. Let's do some math now. Um, that's about 200, negative 110. Right? Not quite 200, that's like what, 23, so 397, 110, 109. Yeah. 197, or one, whatever, you know, you know where we're going. Let's grab all of our wood, and we're going to start going over to the pillager thing. Pillager outpost. I'm going to bring a crossbow, just so I can shoot one and get an advancement right away. Uh, do -do 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 do 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 I think that's what we're building with recently. I'm not sure. I th I'm pretty sure we have an area really close to there, right? Let's see. That's negative. Positive. Uh, no, we don't. Looks like we'll just extend this platform a little bit then. Don't forget the horse. The horse, question mark? I don't know what you mean by the horse. Options, control, sneak, toggle. There we go, that's better. Can you play Skyblock on Switch? I don't think so. So we need to go to, um... Wait, what are the coordinates again? I don't even know. 109? Pretty sure it's negative 109. Okay. What's everybody doing? What For what? You'll see once we get there. 6, 7, 8. 8, and we're actually standing on 109. We'll go here. Good. Uh, I think we're going to ice path this all eventually and make like a nice aesthetic thing. 
just gonna make a nice platform first. Is a Calamity stream ever coming? Yes, it's just, I need to fit it in. I need to finish up other projects before we start new ones, Newt, why? And uh, we got a lot of things on the go right now. A lot of exciting things happening. Like that, uh, like the heart gold uh, soul silver map randomizer kind of came out of nowhere. So like that is taking a lot of time. I started Breath of the Wild speedruns and I'm actually enjoying them way more than I expected. So like once I kind of get sick of those, we'll be able to move on to something else. Honestly though, okay, I gotta talk about the Breath of the Wild speedruns because for real, I finished day one. Like, so Breath of the Wild speedruns, they're very punishing. You make a mistake, you restart the whole run basically, uh, especially at the end of it. Cause there's, it's like a, if you haven't played it, basically the way the game works is um, there's four main dungeons and then a final boss. But you can actually opt to skip the four dungeons and just go straight to the final boss. But then you have to fight the four dungeon bosses in a row before the final boss. So essentially, it's a six boss rush gauntlet. And if you ever die, you restart the whole thing. But the thing is, since you went straight there, you have three hearts. So if you get hit, you die. And so if you ever get hit during the fights, you can actually get hit twice. But or by certain attacks. Uh, if you ever get hit, basically you restart. Um, and I was having a really hard time with that on day one. Day one, I did my first run. It was a no reset. It took me three hours and like 57 minutes. And I was like, there's no way we're going to get a good time. But then the boss fights, I got pretty consistent at them. Like, like way faster than I expected. Like I thought I was going to have to practice them off stream for like 10 hours to get super consistent. But we were consistent enough last stream without any off stream practice that... But I got like a 40 minute flat time. Like we did all the bosses first try and most of my time loss was like I was slow on fighting the final boss or the, the calamity fight and the start of the game when I was like getting all of the getting off the plateau getting through the tutorial was slow. So like I don't know it's just it's crazy to me that I, I thought the run was a lot harder than it was basically. Like, I thought it was, like, a really, really difficult run, and I just didn't want to commit the time to be able to do it. Hard and punishing. But it's actually not too bad. Like, I... I now that I've done... Um, those runs, it's... It's hard, sure. Very punishing still. But it's not as bad. Uh, but I do need to practice Plateau. Like, literally, you just follow the exact directions that the guide gives you. You just you just hit this guy three times, hit this guy four times, hit this guy four times, hit this guy three times with this weapon, with that weapon, with this weapon. You know, if you make a mistake, do this, right? Like, that's the whole thing, and if you just do that, it's not so bad. I did have a lot of experience with Breath of the Wild already, but not with those boss fights. Like, that's the one thing that I never really got good at is, is boss fight stuff. But yeah... It was, it was really cool. Um, I'm hoping to get sub-35 this week, but honestly, I, I practiced a little bit on Saturday. Uh, I'm way better at the wiggle bombs now. There's a trick that allows you to just float through the sky, if you don't know. Um, I'm way better at the, the wiggle bomb trick now. Um, I practiced it. I figured out what I was doing wrong. There was a lot that I was doing wrong. Um, so I'm a lot better at it. Uh, I practiced a few strats. Uh, I want to practice more, but uh, honestly, what a lot of my free time has been this week... Um, and I'm saying like all of my free time basically after Saturday. I realized wait a minute. I'm racing people on Wednesday. I Have an unbroken streak. I have a perfect streak. I've literally never lost a Pokemon map randomizer and Then that I thought of that and I'm like, oh, I'm racing three people at the same time You know if if even one of them Knows heart gold soul silver really well. I could get destroyed here. So, um, who are you racing? Linkus7, uh, Num Nexus, and H Bomb. Wednesday is a Pokemon race? Yeah, Wednesday is Pokemon. What the hell? Huh. Uh, Wednesday is Pokemon, and I think Thursday is Minecraft. But yeah, um, so what I've been doing is just, I've been getting essentially every loading zone in the game and memorizing every map to know which loading zone you can get like if i enter 
Whirl Island's bottom floor one from a specific ladder. Which other ladders can I get to? Like, just random shit like that. I, I'm just trying to memorize the whole map. So I've been spending basically all of my time off stream just looking at maps. And, and trying to memorize it. That's what I've done for other randomizer races. I haven't really shared that much before, but I, I've memorized... I memorized every single map, every single loading zone in the entire game. The thing is, um, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you guys want to guess how many loading zones are in that? You know what? You don't even have to. I'll tell you the amount of loading zones. 1,046. That is how many loading zones are randomized. So it's a lot to remember. Uh, I think it's slightly less than that now that the uh, the interior of Sabrina's gym isn't randomized. So I think it's around a thousand now. But yeah, I've I've been trying to figure out a good a good system for like Heart Gold. It's just such a big game, bro. You took a lot out, but that's accurate. Yeah, it's it's a thousand, give or take a hundred. How much for Emerald? Uh, about 200, maybe. I think it's about 200. Maybe slightly more than that. Yeah, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. And, and the, the crazy thing about that as well is not only does the game have more locations, but more checks compared to everything else. Like, they're, like you have to find... Not, not only double the locations, but almost triple the locations. Because, like, you could... Uh, the first gym, you have to find Sprout Tower first. For the gym leader to be there. Uh, for the third gym, you have to find Burn Tower first. For, um... The... Uh... For the sixth gym, you need to find the Lighthouse and the Medicine House. For Cerulean Gym, you... Uh, you just need to find Cerulean Gym. Um, certain checks might be necessary, like you might need to wait for Booba to open up the Safari Zone. You might need to get the Magnet Train, apparently, which is like three unique loading zones. Or four, there's I think four loading zones related to the Magnet Train quest. Um, th there's... Will the people running know that you need to get Sprout Tower first? Um... I'll probably make sure that they do. I'm pretty sure they are practicing because I was like, how familiar you are with th these games? And they're like, pretty familiar. Do you mind if I practice? And I'm like, please do. Please practice. You're going to take a hell of a long time if you don't. Just, you need to know what you're getting into before you do it, for sure. Like, there are so many little side quests that you can get stuck behind. Also, like, what if uh, a key location is locked behind a bike? What if a key location is locked behind, you know, a whirlpool? There's so many things. What are these? Why using three slabs? Uh, I want walls and, uh, you know, I could use full blocks, but I turn them all into slabs. It's literally just because I turn them all into slabs. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing, uh, it's a full block and a half slab is so mobs can't spawn. So we're doing it with, uh, with bottom slabs. So yeah, you can see, this is bottom slabs. This is a regular block. Good. With the skyblock map, use the skyblock command. Read what the doc says on the right side. It should explain everything. Okay. Boom. Boom. We're going to go here. And I'm going to make some of them into slabs. Nope. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Hard Gold Soul Silver has no easy master ball, correct.
Master Ball isn't too big of a thing, but yeah, it has no easy Master Ball. There's just a lot of things to track. Like, I'm, uh... Wait, hold up. Is this Skyblock? Yes, this is the original Skyblock map. Your tea or coffee is cold now? It's actually fine still. This is something I think we will deconstruct eventually and make a more aesthetically pleasing thing if we do this long term. I'm not sure. Uh, something that I'm unsure of is, like, if we'll continue this series after the YouTube video comes out. If there's, like, a big outpouring of, like, please keep going and build cool stuff. Like, you know, take it to its absolute limits, you know? If people are like, what if you, uh, go to an older version where the end portals still generate? What if you, um, you know, go back a version so you can get, uh, craft a god apple temporarily? Because I think what we what we might be able to do, which would be kind of funny, is uh, go in the middle of nowhere, where like no uh, uh, it might work if you go into an old, older version. Mini biome builds would be cool. Yeah, if you go into like an older version, you could craft a god apple, but it would get rid of all of the new stuff. I believe. I'm not sure if you can downgrade. You might only be able to upgrade. Oh, damn it. Almost there, though. Master Ball requires all eight badges. Yeah. You should do that regardless? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, the longer a series goes on, the lower viewership gets, generally. Because I haven't really promoted it on YouTube anymore, like if, or at all, because I don't really have a video to make out of it yet until we're done with the all of the objectives. Because I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one big YouTube video. I was, I was contemplating, and my YouTube videos, my, my uh, videos are doing well on Minecraft, but I think what we'll probably end up doing is one video for Skyblock. If it does well, we might do a series in the future. But just to start, we'll do one video and see how it does. And if there's like a huge, if the video goes like viral or some crazy shit like that, and there's like a huge, like, people want to see more and more Skyblock, we might continue it. But uh, I do have some other ideas that uh, I'm kind of interested in. Uh, I don't want to share them yet because no one has done them. And that is a very um, rare thing for Minecraft. I'm keeping the uh, the few un uh, the few Minecraft ideas that no one's done very close to my close to my chest. Is that is that is that correct? Am I saying that right? What's your definition of viral? Mm, you know what? My definition of viral, I think, is has changed a lot. But I think uh, for me sort of a, a good video that might be considered viral is the, any video that is reaching like a significant new audience so like probably like four million views is like viral i would say any, any video that is like four million is like a, a pretty pretty big video for me like uh, higher than my sub count by like a fair bit is, is viral i guess You're wasting wood? Very true. Uh, almost there, though. How do you do a video out of 175 hours? I've done it already. It's one of my most popular videos. Pokemon Platinum Damageless. I think it was like 140 hours. Cut it down into a 20-minute video. It. This is the kind of thing that is like... I, I feel like... And I, I'm very well may eat my words for this, but I think I have a good track record. I think a, a lot of the reason that my YouTube has had a, a, a decent amount of success is because many of the things that I do are huge time investments, right? Like a lot of the challenges that I do are huge time investments where, um, 
you know, I, I beat Super Mario Odyssey completely blindfolded. Took a month of prep on stream. Like, just constantly practicing and learning strats. Um... And then we did it, and the video did well. Like, I haven't had a video yet where I've spent that much time doing something, and it flopped. I have a pretty good track record with that. Now, I don't want that to happen, obviously. But I feel like I, I've been doing a pretty good job of figuring out what will work and what won't. Because, like, the everything that has taken a lot of time is done pretty dang well. The timer didn't ring? Yeah, it did. For eight minutes. Like, for the last, like, three months, I have just been thinking of an optimal title and thumbnail for this one video. And I have one in mind that I'm going to use. I think I've, I've pretty much decided on it. Because I like, I need to make sure that this does well, or else, you know, 174 hours. It won't have gone to waste, but it, it'll have been wasted potential. Why is that there, you know? Like, we could have done something that, uh, that more people could have enjoyed. Mind sharing? I can't share, sorry. It, I'm at the point now where, like, if I have a really good idea, it it's not worth the risk sharing it with you guys. Because someone could take it. It's, it hap it's happened enough that, uh... I can't really share my good ideas that I'm excited about, except with, like, the people that are helping me do those ideas. <clears throat> what do you prioritize to put in an edited video? Um... The most important thing about a YouTube video is... making a good story. You have to make a good story out of it. You have to have, you know, huge successes, you know, failures, problems, solutions. All these different things come together and then, you know, eventually you either overcome it or, you know, you don't overcome it, but the sequel you will. I don't want to keep running over here. That's why Settled is doing well on YouTube. I just watched all of Swamp Lettix, the entire thing, over the last week. It was so good. He really, uh... You could tell how much he improved over the course of that series. It was crazy. From the start, it was like, I'm doing this, then I'm doing this, then I'm doing this, then I'm doing this. And at the end, it was like an epic adventure of uh, overcoming huge obstacles. Like, man. He got, he got so good at storytelling by the end of that. It was super... And you can, like, see it over the course of a series. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Might be a bit personal, but what makes you more money, Twitch or YouTube? Uh, YouTube, quite often. I mean, but no, YouTube 100% of the time. Uh, YouTube makes way more than Twitch. Uh, like, depending on the month, like, anywhere from 3 to 10 times as much as Twitch. Yeah, McTile. I've been watching McTile. I think my, my YouTube channel, I, I've looked at other people's analytics, and mine are freakish. I don't know why they're so high. Nick, thanks for the Prime. Thought about any Halo games? Not really. That actually shocks me, I would have guessed Twitch. No. Uh, it's it's a uh, YouTube by a long shot. I don't think Twitch will ever outperform YouTube. Is it still all advancements? Yeah, we're trying to get all the advancements. One, two, three... Yeah, that's right. Gross.
You ever stream to YouTube? If they paid me to. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's like every content creator's answer now is like, will you, would you switch to another platform? It's like, if they paid me. Yeah. YouTube isn't better to stream on yet, but if they paid me, I'd, I'd stick, I'd, I'd stick with it. Honestly, from what I've seen, I think everyone kind of shares the same idea, is, um, YouTube will be better than Twitch, it's just a matter of time, unless Twitch, like, gets their shit in gear. Isn't YouTube awful at that right now? Oh yeah, the, the, the chat in t YouTube, pretty much the, the chat and it's just missing a lot of features. But like, once they get that, like here, here's the thing. Basically the, the, the one big thing, there, there's a few things that, that YouTube is missing. It's like, and I mean, it's the same issue as Twitch, discoverability, but it's even worse on Twitch. Discoverability for live streams on YouTube. Um, and most of that is just because no one streams on YouTube, and so they can't make, like, a discoverability thing, because they'd be recommending the same, like, 5 to 10 streamers for, like, a stream thing on YouTube. Because, like, no nobody streams on YouTube. No one does. Um, so, their discoverability needs to be better. And, uh, what, what else needs to change for YouTube to actually succeed? Let's think about it. What, what, I've, I've watched a few YouTube streams. The chat, yeah, the chat's, it's bad. It's bad. They need to fix that. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it doesn't feel good. Um. It's just missing a lot of features. Because they have, the, the thing is, they have the infrastructure, and the thing about YouTube is it's already established. It, it has a huge audience. Like, YouTube's audience is there. They just need to know about the streaming part. And people just need to stream. Like, once once people enjoy streaming and enjoy watching streams, they already have the people there. And they have, like, 10, 30, 100 times more people than on Twitch. Uh, trolls. So, like, unless Twitch... I don't know. Unless Twitch makes it v way better to stream on Twitch than on YouTube, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be rough for Twitch. The culture is not the same. I don't really think the culture matters. The culture isn't the same because it, there's there's no one that streams on YouTube. If if there's if once people start streaming on YouTube, the culture will be there. It's just there's just not enough people. There's just not enough people that a culture can exist. Like, it's not like a... They need to create it, it's just they need to make a better platform. And then people will make their own culture. Ludwig seems like he's trying to pave the way. I mean, Ludwig, what Ludwig is trying to do is he's trying to make live streaming as good as possible for, for himself on YouTube. He started that, like, truffle thing, right? Yeah, like, I think the best thing that, like, I don't know, a platform could probably do is to sign, like, a, a group of streamers that have a lot of friends that do collaborations together a lot. So, like, you know, the, the whole, like, si signing Saikuno recently. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, they also signed a bunch of Saikuno's friends. Like, I, I, I don't have insider information, but business-wise, it makes sense. Like, wh whoever Saikuno streams with, probably some of them will be going to YouTube, if not all of them will be going to YouTube sometime soon. Like, if you get a group, there's a whole culture around that group kind of thing, right? Like, Ludwig is a really good pickup. I, I think Ludwig was probably, like, the best acquisition that any any deal has ever made for, like, l exclusive live streamers. Just because everybody likes Ludwig. 
he's he's so he's so charismatic. Like everybody has a good uh, opinion. Like nobody nobody dislikes Ludwig. Everybody is like, yeah, Ludwig's cool, right? And like the the thing about Ludwig is he does have a really really dedicated audience. Like people will watch him for him. Like, he's not known for any games, he's known for being him, which is like... I was gonna grab something, what was I grabbing? Slaps. He's known for being him. And so, you know, when, when he switched over, he didn't lose much viewership, because, you know, he had an audience on YouTube already, but also, people watch him for him. They didn't just move on to another streamer on Twitch that did the same thing, because no one's Ludwig on Twitch. Yeah, 100% the Ninja deal was the worst deal out of them all. Ninja was probably paid like 20 mil. And they got nothing out of it. Like, the people on Twitch watched Ninja because, you know, he was good. But as it turns out, they didn't watch because he was Ninja. They watched because, you know, he hit a critical mass and he was the guy to watch on Twitch for, I guess, Fortnite. A lot of his audience wasn't dedicated to him, I suppose. Also, apparently, mixer streaming was awful. Him switching to YouTube made you a lot made you watch a lot more live streams. Yeah, they're easier to find if all the stuff is on one platform. Bye. Oh, that's so sad. Wait a minute. Did you guys see that? Wait a minute. Something really big just happened. So the world generates in the void, right? But the mobs generate and they fall. Which means mushrooms can generate and fall. So if we're able to catch a mushroom before it falls and dies, we could have mushrooms in this world. How would we catch them though? Like, what we have to do is the chunk generates and then the mushroom falls. So we need a way to catch the mushroom as the chunk generates. We can't build in the chunk. I think the only way to do it... The only way to do it is to have the, the nether portal... Spawn is to have the nether portal spawn underneath them. People are saying water. How do you get water in a chunk that hasn't generated yet? Can they spawn on the portal? You can... they not naturally respawn? No, they can't. Shouldn't mushrooms spawn naturally in mushroom island biomes? They spawn on mycelium. It's impossible to get mycelium. We can't get potions of, or we can't get arrows of levitation, but we can get arrows of slow falling. 
We could load an arrow of slow falling into crossbows and then shoot them and then fishing rod them over onto a platform that we build. Don't crossbows one-shot them? No, they shouldn't. Arrow slow falling glass 11 seconds. I think we have a longer slow falling arrow than that. Decrease the chunk load distance and make a platform underneath the mushroom chunks. Well, they just generate when the chunk generates. If I'm in the chunk, they're just going to fall. Will they respawn if you fail? No. They will not respawn if I fail, but they, we have an unlimited amount of tries because we could just find another mushroom biome to generate. You can't send a flying machine into an unloaded chunk because it's unloaded. Because all we need are two mushroom, mushrooms. If we have two mushrooms, we can get them. Forgotten Drifter, thanks for the two months. It would be terrible, but it would work. Lower your render and then build the platform and then build a higher again. Render distance is a cylinder. It's not a sphere. You turn render distance down? I mean, you can, but you still can't get close enough. Simulation distance goes to... Um, five chunks, minimum. I think you can just build a mycelium platform in the mushroom biome. That's true, you could. Yep, great idea. Um, you need two, yeah, we need two mushrooms. Wait, can one can can a cow breed with a mushroom? We might only need one to make more mushrooms. No, you don't think so. Spawning, yeah, they spawn in mushroom field biomes on mycelium. They do not spawn naturally in other any other biome. You cannot get mycelium. In this. A pair of mushrooms can breed. Okay. They cannot be bred with a cow. Unless the mushroom has been sheared. If you shear a mushroom, does it turn into a regular cow? Yes. Okay. No shearing them. Whoa, I had no idea. Brown mushrooms are really special, actually. When a small flower is used on a brown mushroom, the brown mushroom produces a suspicious stew related to that flower. Wow, I had no idea. So you can... You can... Whoa. And then you can right-click... if, Like, if you give uh, a dandelion to a, a brown mushroom, you could right click it with a bowl and that food will fully heal you and fully replenish your hunger. Every time. That's crazy. Brown mushrooms, uh, if they're, mushrooms if they're hit by lightning turn brown. If mushrooms aren't on mycelium when the chunk loads, can they really spawn? I think the way it works is the chunk generates and then all the blocks are removed. Slow falling could work, but how much time would it give you until they reach the void? I think water goes down faster 
then basically what we're going to have to do is we'd have to build a water uh, we'd have to hit them with slow falling build over to where they are and then drop water down and then build down and build a platform at the bottom if you breed them there's also a small chance yes You can make it so water source blocks generate inside a chunk as soon as the chunk is loaded. That'd be so difficult. Can you get an elytra the same way? No, we can't go to the end. Um, is there a way to get silverfish then? I'm trying to think now. Is there any way to get like other things this way? Hmm. Uh, not really. A big flying machine? We'd have to, like, go through and shoot him instantly, man. Ek one geo thanks for the Prime. Have you seen animals fall anywhere else while exiting a portal? Yeah, all the time. It's just I never thought about it before. We might be able to kill Piglin Brutes. Uh, Adrian, we'd give ourselves a weakness potion. We could do Piglin Brutes, I bet. It would suck, but I bet we could do it. Because all we need to do are kill them. So we'd probably give ourselves a potion of strength, get a power bow, and we could shoot it on the way down. Because I think Piglin Brutes would generate. They would just fall to their death. So if we could just... If we portal into the nether... At the exact point where a Bastion is... We like, freeze the game... Find a Piglin Brute... Turn and shoot it. We could actually kill a Piglin Brute. Jake Guppy, thanks for the raid. Stupid question. Why don't you build a floor under the spawning animals? Because the floor needs to be there as the chunk generates. 1577871. Do I have water on me? I do. 1577 and -871. This is our block. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to build a circle around this. Weakness potions only affect... Oh my goodness, Adrian's also a freaking Minecraft expert. Let's go. Um, they only affect that. Okay. It has a chance to kill it. We might need to take that risk. Hmm. What about a bow? A bow you need to charge up, and that we don't have enough time for that. It feels like cheating because you can't do that in the OG map. True. But it would kind of be cool. Crossbow. Crossbow might KO. You could use multi shot? Yeah. You could use multi shot. Multi-shot might hit both arrows, though, right? Literal Minecraft scientists. Isn't this the OG map? It is the OG map, but we can go... Basically, it's the OG map, but we can go anywhere. Because, um... Uh... Like, the OG map is actually only 800 by 800 blocks, and I wanted to go further than that. So, it, the rest of the world is also deleted. Crossbow with rockets deals a lot of damage. It can one-shot even with armor. Well, we don't want that. Yeah, why don't we shoot a health arrow at him? Is 
Is there any way we can get mycelium from a mushroom? I don't think so, right? Oh, I, need, I didn't bring enough blocks. No. Dang it. Would piercing slow falling be an option? Does piercing do less damage? Oh, Piglin, Brute, and Rocket. Oh, you're smart. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd have to practice, but uh, we could kill a Brute. I'm telling you, Flying Machine. Flying Machines won't activate in unloaded chunks. They'll just freeze. It'd be cool if we could get Mushrooms. That would be really cool. Wandering Trader doesn't give Mycelium, unfortunately. Gives, um, Podzol. Which sucks. We need Zoglin for an achievement. Oh, we can we can get a Zoglin to spawn, I think. Right? Because we can get a Hoglin to spawn, maybe? Unless Hoglins only spawn on Netherrack, in which case it would be impossible. I'm going to assume they can spawn on any. Why do we need Mycelium? We don't need Mycelium. It would just be nice to have. <clears throat> Portal in at negative 64. The thing is, the nether doesn't go down to negative 64. Piercing does more damage? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I just need more wood, I guess. Hey, Grandma. Does one extra damage per level? Okay, so we won't use piercing. Good information to have. Go for today. Raid farm. Two hours in. Guys, what if we abuse the chunk generation and block deletion process? Okay. Hoglin spawn in Crimson's Forest. They can spawn at any light level. Okay. We could do that today. We could uh, kill a Hoglin and Zoglin. I'll s uh, we'll never be able to breed hoglins. The the one thing I'm the saddest about in this whole thing, not necessarily saddest, but we cannot get crimson or warped fungi. We can get a warped fungus on a stick, but we can't get the fungus itself. Like what the heck? What is up with that, right? How do you do a raid farm? Ah, you'll see. Uh, I need to grab a milk bucket. I just realized. I don't want to accidentally start a raid at home. Because if we start a raid at home, that could... Potentially, uh, kill us. There, it could, it, it would be like an absolute disaster. You get lingering potions? Unfortunately not. Alright. With a nice little wall. Um, pillagers will spawn here if we just get a little bit further away. You once crafted your god fishing rod into a warped fungus on a stick. <laughs> oh my god. How many goals are left? Very few. Very, very few. Did you die? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we got knocked off by a guardian last time. But, uh, we got all the stuff back. With, uh, with the Council of Randy, it actually is really quick to get our stuff back now. Because the Council of Randy just gives us like a few blocks, or like two stacks of emeralds every time we talk to him. Council of Randy blesses us. When did you start this world? 175 hours ago. It was in January. 
175 stream hours, though. When will you make the raid farm? Like, 20 minutes? The raid farm is actually pretty easy to build. Uh, I think I've watched the tutorial before, the Ian, Ian X04 farm. It's pretty simple. It's just, you just do it with, like, lava casts. So, it, uh, it's pretty quick. It kind of builds itself. <clears throat> uh, cause you just lava, ca lava cast like twice and then you just like adjust a few things. Like the hardest part about it is finding a good place, but uh, January was only 175 hours ago. I know I don't, I didn't believe it either. Second raid farms are easy and super efficient. Yeah. Mm hmm. If you max out render distance and minimize simulation distance, will you see them floating? How, How did you get down from there? You're going to die. Do I have any weed on me? Ooh, parkour! Jeez. Is there an egg around I can throw? No. I need to make sure there's not too many sheep because that's I think that's our only grass. I should really get some grass in a chest if I don't have any right now. Because it would be bad if... Uh, yeah, we can leave them. The AI won't let it die. Tell that to our llama. That is dead. I'm going to check right grass. We do not have any grass saved. Okay. I'm going to grab some grass really quick. I'm just going to grab like 32 grass. I don't have any shovels that have silk touch right now, but whatever. Oh, the cat hut is grass. That's true. I'm just going to grab some and, and put it in the chest because if we ever lose our grass, we there's no way to ever get it back. It's like we always have backup lava. We're always going to have backup uh, of everything else. You think the high render distance, low simulation distance thing would work? Maybe? Can Endermen generate with blocks in their hand? No? That's not necessarily true, though, is it? I just thought of something. We could get to the end. Technically. The April Fool's update of Minecraft allows Endermen to spawn with items in their hand. They could spawn with end portal frames. And if we temporarily update, we could one block at a time kill them and do it. They could also spawn with mycelium, potentially, yeah. Wouldn't that take an eternity? It would take an absolute eternity.
I will not be doing that. How about if... I think, you know what? What we will do... You can't update to April Fool's Update? You've already tried? The worlds aren't cross-compatible? Oh, really? There's a creeper on the beacons. Never mind. That seems cheaty. I mean, yeah, that would be like after we're done everything and there's literally nothing else left to do. We switch that version to unlock the end and like a million new things. Um, and by a million new things, I mean literally just the dragon and the dragon egg. Because end cities wouldn't generate. Yeah, and end cities wouldn't generate. The end wouldn't generate. You wouldn't be able to get end stone. If updates with the rule set, you, we have mushrooms. We have mushrooms here in here. With a wandering trader. You can get elytras the same way as mushrooms. Oh, that's... Is that true? I, yeah, wait a minute. You could get elytras. The same way as mushrooms, because uh, technically they exist as an entity. The exit portal won't generate. It will generate. Whenever you kill the dragon, the end portal regenerates itself. Don't forget the breath and spyglass. We, we can't get uh, amethyst. Well, we could, because the endermen would, would do it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that means shulkers too? Yeah, wait, how do shulkers work if they can't generate onto a block? Yeah, I guess we could do shulkers. Wait a minute. We might be able to get mining fatigue. We might be able to do how did we get here. If the April Fool's thing would work. Because you need to get to the end for shulkers. Because we just saw that mobs generate. And then they fall. So if we go to a monument. And as the Elder Guardian is falling to its death. We could get dink donked. So we could actually get Mining Fatigue. Mining Fatigue and Levitation are the only ones that we can't get. Also in the April Fool's update, you can get an Elder Guardian through fishing. Huh. A lot of interesting ideas if we could do the April Fool's update. If I don't think so, because the world is different though. You have infinite dirt? Yeah, yeah, we have the infinite dirt. Don't worry. We we did that. We can also do it with Podzol. By turning uh, stone into Podzol. Or moss. Graphic Rats on make it possible. I don't want it to be, like, modded, though. I want it to be, like... Like, vanilla Minecraft. That's kind of what this is. April Fool's is a little bit cheeky, but... I mean, if there's literally nothing else to do, we could do it to unlock. If people want that. It'd take ages to get all the frames, but it's technically possible. How do you make infinite dirt? I'll show you right now. So we have two dirt in our inventory, right? Now we have four. But wait, it's still coarse dirt. How do we turn into regular dirt? Turn into path blocks. Four regular dirt. You can get gravel from piglin trades. It's still an official update no matter how weird it is, yeah. 
How's the raid farm coming along? Right, that's what we were working on. Sorry, I got distracted thinking about the April Fool's update. Yeah, we came back to get milk. Take dirt to make dirt, yeah. Technically not true. Uh, technically you can get dirt without ever having dirt. You need grass to make grass. Is the April Fool's update the one from this past April? If it is, you can't use chests or your character's inventory. That's correct, but we could just... Uh, uh, we could build um, a portal frame, though, in this version, and then go back to the other version so we can actually fill up the portal frame and do whatever we want with it. Yeah, we're yak shaving. How do you get bad rid of bad omen? Or how do you get bad omen? Uh, so this is where a pillager tower used to be. Um, I'm going to very, very carefully make a platform. Um, I need to make one in an area that they cannot shoot me from. So we're just going to go here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna jump- I'm not gonna go back updates. I wonder if, uh, 119 unlocks anything. It unlocks mud, which is a e way easier way to get clay, right? I'm just making a wall so they can't shoot me while I'm running back, because I will eventually open this up. Do you have a favorite block? Cyan wool. What do you say is the biggest tip for a skyblock world? Build farms as early as possible. It saves so much time. I built mine too late. But we could have done this in half the time if I built a wood farm, like, instantly. They're not that hard. Also, yeah, villagers are the key. 100% villagers are the key. <gasps> Wait! Ready to get an advancement? Never mind. Um, he, he went into the nether. Fuck, okay, never mind. We'll get it later, I guess. Will this kill me if I go through? I don't think so. I think this is going to be chill. Hello, sir. What? Do you have to kill him? With the crossbow? Ah, who's the pillager now? There we go. Alright, now let's, uh, let's run all the way back here. So more pillagers spawn. And let's get one more advancement before we leave. Uh, to get all of the resources for the pillager, or for the raid farm. <sighs> Can you get sand in this world? Yes, um, it takes forever though. After checking the wiki, the platform for the raiders to spawn needs to be in a skylight of level 11 or lower, or a block light 11 or level or lower. Are you sure? Because that guy just spawned. Is it going to get every advancement? Every possible one. Yep. There's another guy.
For a crossbow to kill a mushroom, it would be a 2 in 6 chance. Hmm. Yeah. Bird and Dark Bacco, thank you for the primes. I really appreciate that. Alright. How many achievable advancements do we have left, Inept? Alright, I'll run through. Uh, advancements, so we have, um, two by two we can't get. We will be breeding as many as we can, though. Whatever floats your goat is possible. All cat variants is possible. This is possible, this is possible. This is possible. This is possible. Um, there's a few hidden advancements that we can't, that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, we're gonna be getting probably four or five advancements today. I could see. Alright. Don't you need the end biome for exploration? Oh, wait. Can we not get every biomes? I, No shot. Wait a minute. I forgot. Whoa. I don't know if end biomes count. I'm gonna check. Oh, no, no, no. Achievement, advancement. Please tell me that that that, that one doesn't take... Uh, I, think it w I think it does, now I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna check though. Adventuring time. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're about to get an advancement! Let's go, Voluntary Exile, baby. And we got a banner. Alright, sweet. Let's get rid of Voluntary Exile so we don't start a raid at our home. Alright, I'm gonna check. Um, you need Badlands, Bamboo Jungle, Beach, Birch Forest, Cold Ocean, Dark Forest, Deep Cold Ocean. Deep frozen ocean, deep lukewarm ocean, deep ocean, desert, dripstone caves, eroded badlands, flower forest, forest, frozen ocean, frozen river, frozen peaks, grove, ice spikes, jagged peaks, jungle, lukewarm ocean, lush caves, meadow, mushroom fields, ocean, old growth, birch forest, old growth, pine taiga, old growth, spruce taiga, plains, river, savanna, savanna, snowy beach, snowy taiga, snowy plains, snowy slopes, sparse jungle, stony shore, stony peaks, sunflower plains, Swamp, taiga, warm ocean, wind swept forest, wind swept gravelly hills, wind swept hills, wind swept savanna, and wooded badlands. This advancement is only for overworld biomes. I wish I read that first. Okay. It's only overworld. So we can get adventuring time. Can Skyblock Lush Cave spawn vines? No. No, it won't spawn vines. The end advancement is the end? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, let's watch the the uh, raid farm tutorial. Isn't there a whole advancement for nether biomes? I believe we have that. Hot tourist destinations. Yep. What happens if we throw an eye ender? I have ender. It goes to where the stronghold is supposed to be. And we found the stronghold, or where it was supposed to be, but we couldn't really do anything about it. I wonder if there's any way to get netherite. Is there any way? I don't think there's any way to ever get netherite. No matter what you do. Did you get the blazes we went to where a fortress should have been? Alright. Let's watch, um... We're gonna watch a raid farm tutorial really quick. Uh, apparently it's 34 minutes long. Um... <laughs> Um, 
Hi. Hi. This is Ian X04. Hi, Ian. Thanks for joining me today for a special episode because today we're going to build a stacking raid farm. Stacking raid farms are a high performance class of raid farms that use special mechanics to have several raids ongoing simultaneously. Uh -huh. Since every raid can generate as many as 100 mobs, having several of them at the same time lets you generate a ton of drops. Uh -huh. This stacking raid farm design can give you up to 128,000 total drops per hour, which includes 56,000 emeralds and 43,000 witch drops. That's about 5,300 redstone per hour and 5,300 gunpowder per hour. All this from a farm that's made from easily attainable materials and can be built quickly. Since most of the farm is actually cast from okay. lava, you could very well spend more time transporting and placing the villagers in this farm than you spend building the actual structure. Two different junk items. Which can take as little as 30 minutes. If you know what you're doing. This stacking raid farm is designed to be safe. Wait, I need to screenshot this. Can you stop? I Just stop having your mouse covered. There we go. Screenshot. Okay, I screenshotted it. Designed to be safe and flexible and tolerant of lag. You can tolerate from lag. Actually, cast from lava. You could very well spend more time transporting and placing the villagers in this farm than you spend building the actual structure itself. Okay. Slows thirty minutes. If you know what you're doing. This guy appeared out of nowhere. Every one of his farms is so simple and so good. Like it. It's so much better than everything else. I feel like. Designed to be safe and flexible and tolerant of lag. You can operate the farm using manual clicking, for example, but an auto clicker would be a lot more convenient. The auto clicker can be server side or client side from a separate auto clicking program or even a macro. The farm starts up quickly. It's pretty much at full speed in just a few minutes. And okay. Client side auto clicker, the farm will actually slow itself down when there's too much lag, which helps manage the lag so that it doesn't get out of hand on your server. And it's relatively safe from vexes as well. This box. All right. How do we build it? Concepts in this video. Check out the video description for updated links to additional. Re there are a lot of detailed mechanics involved with stacking raid farms, and I'll cover some of the main concepts in this video. With a special. Yeah, I, I don't care about the concepts. The job site next to it, but the brief. Just tell me how to build it. Okay, let's get to building. Read video description. In 1.18.2, the sub chunk position is shown in brackets to the right of the player block location. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it's relevant. Anything else? Okay. This is okay, ENX04. This farm must be built in a specific location within a chunk, and it must have a specific orientation. Okay. As a result, I'll be referring to the player's X and Z position within the chunk or subchunk. It has to be in a very You'll specific chunk, chunk and subchunk. Sub These values range from 0 to 15, and are different from the usual coordinates that players normally reference. Yeah, I, I know about those. Are at y information for the block that provide that there's no land nearby. Well, top, you're no land nearby? I don't think that's going to be an issue. The east. Can I even build these? And 12 more scaffolding until your feet are at Y, 101, and add a third, and 31 scaffolding to the tower. Yeah, I guess we can. And place another temporary block on top in the middle. Your feet should be at the X and Z subjunct position of 10 and 9. Okay. Continue up the scaffolding and confirm that your feet are at Y, 132, and add 31 scaffolding so that you're fixed. Add 31 scaffolding to 4, and add the scaffolding to the south, and turn on. Okay. And then clear out the cobblestone and temporary blocks so that the top of the tower is flush with the soul sand. And Sounds good. The cobblestone at the ocean surface. Bamboo and string, we have that. Make an entrance to the drop chute. Set down a torch inside and pillar up on six blocks in the middle at the X and Z subjunct position of 10 and 9 until your feet are at Y69. Mm -hmm. Replace the block nice. at Y70 with a dispenser facing up containing at least one armor stand. And remove the block over the dispenser. A dispenser and place the with a dif What? Clear out the block. Build out its orders mm. with overflow protection. Okay. He makes a sorting machine. A lot of totals. And then make the channel walls for I will replace an open. Okay. Instead, exit the channel. Feet at Y. Place eight and over the button. Sorting machine is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Seconds. I can place some distinct climb up to the top. Okay. I'm just making sure I have all the resources for this. Only doctor signs hold the water in. Go under the trap door. Place soul sand at the bottom of the water and repeatedly place them against the wall to catch your breath if you need it. Okay. Fill it with kelp. We have all these materials. Now work your way down the scaffolding to the foothold at Y194. Scaffolding by a block. Then turn left and extend it by. You guys probably can't hear this very well, can you? With an observer so that it looks into the water column. Now go up on more scaffolding and replace the last observer on the. Add a glass block beneath you and confirm that your feet are at the X and Z subjunct position of 12 and 13 and a Y level of 201. Yeah. We need to bring villagers here, don't we? Villager station because we're going to build similar ones below, but there are a couple of differences. Ah. Another difference is that each station below will be offset, just looks east into. King South can have the X and Z sub 132 with a Y mm -hmm. at Y8 with Y at boat and push the villager towards the top. Red stained glass box with a composter and encourage the villager to jump in. When it's in place, aim carefully to break the composter so that the villager falls straight down. Get in. Get in. Floor and repeat this process for each of the four villager stations below, using a different red stained glass block to drop each villager. A fifth villager is needed near the top of the farm. Mm -hmm. After push the villager into the bubble column, break the composter and remove the soul sand at the bottom of the column and place it back in. This activates the villager stations and deletes the water that the villagers are standing in. Now go up with your last villager and break the floor at the X and Z subchunk position of 13 and 15 and place a composter at Y level 224. When the villager goes in, place so a composter or pot bro. over its head. You do be spinning. 
Now okay. head down to scaffolding and make sure that all of the villagers are safely in place and seal them in with glass box overheads. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, this seems simple. This is super simple. Most okay, of it is just like. Bridge out to the signal tower and add an observer looking in and powering a solid block with a torch on top. Mm -hmm. Along the scaffolding bridge, bracket the structure with solid blocks as shown. And take delay for the signal on the north side. And it's then weird. the third layer with a lava filled cauldron in the middle, composters to the east and west, and stair blocks to the north and south with lava composters filled on the east side. Cauldron? Why? The smooth side of the stair block faces in and place a glass block on the outside, and then waterlog the stairs. What is this? Leave a vertical cap. You can use unstained glass near of each soul sand line on proof. Now go down to the foothold at the bridge, bracket the structure with solid hmm. blocks for redstone. Wall. Replace the blocks again. Considering how how what it's this is doing, this is so easy. The smooth side facing the entrance. Place glass blocks over the trap doors and. What is this doing right, though? Spawn proof the pistons with slabs. Spawn proof it. Okay, yeah. Seventy-two. And set an observer to look at the sixty-nine and break all the scaffolding. And in, against the observer, set a sticky piston facing down to push another observer looking west. Go to the foothold at Y sixty-nine and break all the scaffolding. And in above Y seventy. Set another sticky piston against the last observer facing down and leave a gap to pull another observer looking north. Bridge out on the foothold at Y69 and set a solid block in the middle of the bridge with a repeater on top set to one redstone tip and place a solid block between the observer and repeater. Jump up on that block and bridge out around the tower to the south side. Use a couple temporary blocks to set in and place a solid block at the end with a torch on top and run redstone dust to the other side. A torch? Is that so mobs can't spawn on it, I guess? Place a temporary lever to power the south piston and mm -hmm. remove the cobblestone in front of the piston on the other side. Place a soul sand block in front of the south piston, power it again, and again remove the cobblestone on the other side. Oh, switcher? Now the lever and set a magma block in front of the south piston. Hop down and break the rest of the scaffolding and remove these two rows of blocks. Okay, we have all these blocks. And also remove this one block at the villager dock. Just one. That's Line so specific. Base, set ladders at the base to lead up to the platform in front of the player station. Remove the Oh wait, this is you have to build this in an ocean. That we're gonna have to build that platform. Two temporary blocks at the player station and press the button to dispense an armor stand there. And press the other button to dispense an armor stand into the cauldron. Place a stone pressure plate in front of the entrance and wire it with redstone dust to the sticky piston to the east. Why? And finally, load the items into the sorters to configure them for collection. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that picks out emeralds, that picks out redstone, that picks out gunpowder, and the rest picks out uh, everything else. You can approach by boat with the Batuman effect. The raid will start when you hop up to the base of the farm. Go up the ladder and head straight to the player station before mm -hmm. the raid bar fills up 75% of the way. From here, look straight down into the armor stand and promptly start attacking every 30 game picks or 1,500 milliseconds. The ideal sword will have sweeping edge 3, sharpness 5, looting 3, and mending. Diamond or Looting 3 and mending, okay. Or netherite sword will are preferred since the increased damage helps you minimize the chances of a vex being summoned. I've tested the farm for over 48 hours straight. Wait, what? Diamond sword, of course, for 1,500 milliseconds. The ideal sword will have sweeping edge 3, sharpness 5, looting 3, and mending. Diamond or netherite sword, of course, are preferred since the increased damage helps you minimize the chances of a vex being summoned. M minimize vex spawns? I've tested the farm for over 48 hours straight with such a diamond sword and without seeing any vexes. Weaker swords can still operate the farm, but it'll be a bit more dangerous. Be mindful of what you have in your inventory when AFK with this farm if you think that there's a chance of dying to a vex. Okay. To help mitigate the occasional vex attack, build a beacon with strength and regeneration. We will be doing that. Or netherite armor with protection 4 and thorns 3. We will be doing that. If you want to AFK for long periods, no thorns, though. You'll need a beacon to prevent starvation. You won't be able to eat while looking at an armor stand. But if you don't have a beacon, you can instead AFK in normal difficulty, and the rates will decrease by about a third. When okay. you're done with the farm, just stop attacking the armor stand, crouch down, and leave the player station. Make sure that there's no raid bar display. You can tap the pressure plate a second time if you need to, and then collect your loot and travel more than 128 blocks away. This will cause any mobs in the killing chamber to despawn, which will make the farm safe for you to start the next time that you want to use it. I hope this farm will serve you well, bringing you a lifetime supply of emeralds, tons of redstone and gunpowder, or whatever other raid drops that you may want. Okay. But before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my Discord community. So Thanks, ENXO4's Discord. Alright, let's go back to the actual game, and I'm gonna build that. Okay, I just need to open up a... All right, we need to collect all of those ingredients. So I'm just going to have that image open on the side. Uh, this goes here. Will there be a test? Yes, there will be a test. Make sure everyone knows the, what the test is. Did you get all that? Hope so. All right, let's uh, use our ender chest for the resources. Okay, so we need uh, 12 regular chests. Uh, pop quiz. Yep. Popping a quiz. Right on you. Alright, I think that, that'll that probably be enough chests, considering we only needed 12. We need 21 hoppers. That should be enough. Uh, we need 5 torches. Redstone torches. We need 5 repeaters. No, that's compar 5 comparators. Why do you need this farm? 
because we need, uh, it's the only way to get, um, the good stuff. You'll see, you'll see. Um, something that I need to do that might seem a little weird right now is we need to make a lot of... I'm going to turn the villager breeder back on. Because we actually need, like, an insane amount of... Wait, why are there adults here? I'm going to have to kill these guys. But I can't hit them. We turn the villager breeder back on. This won't give you a ravager because they are killed automatically from the system. That's fine. We can always just start our own raid whenever we want. Alright, so all of these are going to be turned into stone masons uh, for a few different reasons. Uh, stone masons, we need them for uh, getting different types of uh, glazed terracotta more easily and just terracotta in general. They also can give you polished diorite and other stuff like that. They can give you blocks of quartz. It's just good for building. We'll need a lot of them. Um, but we're not going to have them here. I think we're going to move them all to the nether. Does every bucket type include baby blue axolotls? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we, a blue axolotl is one of our long-term goals. So I think before we do the raid farm, let's make a small trading area in the nether yeah I think we're gonna make a trading area in the nether so let's do that we need a bunch of stone cutters so let's just start by doing that So let's make a few stone cutters. I don't have any smooth stone. It's embarrassing. We'll just do this for the future. <sighs> you plan to get netherite in the nether? No, it's literally impossible. What's the goal if you hit 12k? I don't know. It's just a crazy high number, isn't it? Wait, I probably have some smooth stone in this chest. Nope. Zero. Okay, do you have a creeper farm? Nope, we, I figured we didn't need any gunpowder. And we really haven't needed any gunpowder. I mean, there's nothing we can use it for. But uh, we will be using it, uh, we will be getting it from the, um, the raid farm. I think we're going to be getting glowstone, uh, emeralds. What, what can witches drop? Glowstone, emeralds, um, some other things. Should we be able to instamine smooth stone? Yeah, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, I only have haste one. Yeah, which is drop redstone. Yeah, redstone, glowstone, gunpowder. Do you have a lapis beacon? Magic. Must have forgot to change it back from when we did the other stuff. Haste 2. There we go. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Lapis beacon is valid. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? Thirty stone cutters, sure. 
Alright, let's go figure out how to, um... Make a nice storage chamber for these villagers. I have an idea. I think it'll work. We need, um... Hoppers and... Oh, I can't remember how it works. I think we'll need hoppers and trap doors, but slabs might work. Mm, I'm going to bring both, just in case. Alright, but this is going to take a little bit. Yeah, we're going to need to bring all of the villagers into the nether. And we're going to have to build the, uh, you know what, no, I'm not going to build it in the nether. We, but we need, we do need a mason area where the masons are just kind of chilling and all easily accessible. Where can we, where, where should we build the mason area? Maybe up here. You know, these all are just, like, sitting here. I, we, I need to clean this area up. I'm just going to be honest. Let's, let's fix up this area. Because it's just, we're, we're going to have to move these villagers. They've been sitting here for way too long. Um, do you actually give me anything useful? Like, ever? No. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're so lucky this layer is, or this floor is two layers. Alright, he joined the space program. Uh, you, uh, the bucket of cod is nice. Same with you, the bucket of cod is nice. And then you have the arrow invisibility, you have the arrow of the turtle master, you have the arrow of night vision, you have the arrow of slow falling, which we may need, and you have our diamond sword. Okay, let's make a little home for these guys. Um, two gap. I'm basically just going to mirror it. So we're going to go boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, bam. Remove their job stations. Uh, I think we're going to start with you. So we actually need the um, weapons smith is what? I can't even remember. Got to see. Yeah, we're going to do you first because... Honestly, I kind of wanted you next to these guys. Well, you know what? Let's move this Fletcher and put him in there. That would be better, I think. Yeah. Be free. The world is your oyster, sir. He doesn't want to come out. Bro, don't you like oysters? Just get into the boat. Okay. Uh, this is going to take a minute. Unless we just push one rail at a time. I need more rails. I'll be right back. We're going to go grab rails. Okay. Good. That'll do. 30. Two will be enough. Good. What's your favorite game other than Gen 4? I like how you assumed Gen 4 was my favorite. No, you've probably heard that before. Other than Gen 4, I don't know. I feel like Gen 5 may have been where Pokemon is, like, at its peak. Like, Gen 5 may be better than Gen 4. I'll say it. I'm not afraid.
any of them still in mine carts? Nope. Alright. Uh, what does this guy need? It's a blast furnace, right? This guy wants a blast furnace? Don't have any iron up here. Or is it a grindstone? Because he's a weaponsmith. Grindstone. Yeah. Alright, let's go grab a grindstone. Uh, that's sticks and smooth stone, right? Good. Do minecarts, boats, and armor stands count toward the mob limit? I don't think they influence spawns. No. Wait. Why are smooth stones not in the crafting recipe? That's so weird. Anyways, um. I can't remember how to. Uh, I can't. How do you? Oh, what full wood? Full wood. I need full wood. I'm gonna go. Uh, here, here. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I think isn't it like this, 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 this? Yeah. It's weird that it didn't give me the recipe. Very strange. Okay, good. Get back in that hole, idiot. I mine so fast, bro. Ah, ah! I don't have a boat. I don't have a boat. Stupid. What? Why? Oh. Tch. We ever shiny hunt again? Never. He trying to. He's trying to get to those beds. Oh, that's why I didn't have haste too. Right, because I didn't want to insta mine. Because everything just melts. Whatever. I'll leave it on for a second. Alright, you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Your streams are the best. Thank you. That's... Really? Alright. We'll move over a little bit. This guy can sneak past. But yeah, we haven't made a house for so many of these villagers for so long. We just gotta we gotta make a little little trading hall area. Our current trading hall looks so bad. Okay. I was like, what the heck was that? I hope you'll die. Um, you will get into place now. And yeah, I forgot about this, where you have to completely seal them in before you do anything. And I don't want to hit him. I don't think that hit him. I think he was just suffocating. Let's see. Are his trades more expensive? No. Oh my god, yeah. Cool. Master Weaponsmith. Get- I know you don't want to be stuck, but please just stay there, bro. There we go, good. Yeah, he didn't- That was- that was totally chill. 
Okay, cool. So that's sorted out. Let's get the uh, the Fletchers all in a line now. So let's take all their workstations and just jet. Let's grab all their workstations, put them in place, uh, there should be one more here, yep, good. Will I ever read your message on stream? No, I'm sorry. Three, four, five. This feels a little bit more smaller. No, it's the same size, okay. A little bit more smaller, yes. Okay, uh, we will need a few more blocks for this. What else? Actually, there's a barrel guy right over here, isn't there? Maybe I should move the barrel man over. Just pull him out. You know what? Let's do that. Let's pull the barrel guy out. Why were there... What? There's like a million enchantments in that. What? One... Two, three. That was strange. We'll just let him wander around for a little bit. I guess I used it for some storage. It's weird. We'll bring that back home. Huh. Weird. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll have uh, five Fletchers here. Bam. We want... Did I not leave any? Okay, well, Mason. I don't have any with me right now. Um, how do I get emeralds with nothing? I need emeralds, and I don't have any materials with me right now. There's got to be some way that I can get free emeralds, right? Or do I actually have to go down? Do the stick trade again. I don't even know. Show you a magic trick. I'm not. I'm not ready to do a magic trick right now. Give me a few minutes. Okay, there we go. We can get emeralds from this and that. Okay, cool. Okay, mm you should give me emeralds. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Man, you love Skyblock. I do too. Skyblock is great. And you... One of, there's, I think, two guys that gives me emeralds for books. You and you, yeah. Good. Okay. And now... Have a chest by them with your portal. Yeah, I just didn't want to have to jump down there. There we go. Yeah, I believe... All the platforms that they stand on are this, so we're just gonna do, gonna do that really quick. Fill it in. What's the most views you had in the stream? I think we had twenty thousand viewers when I was uh, uh, finishing the Pokedex in uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I think that's maybe the most I've had on without any like raids or anything. That was uh, an interesting and crazy day. I, I definitely didn't expect that those streams to be as big as they were. By any means. Because, yeah, the game had just come out and we were, like, finishing the Pokedex day one, so... People wanted to be there for it. People wanted to see it. It was, it was very cool. It was uh, definitely a cool time. Alright. If only we had a stone cutter. There we go. Yeah, we'll just do this, yeah. Good. What's the music? Uh, just some random Pokemon music today, I think. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, what is this? And then a stair on the back. Okay, cool. 
No human rights involved in this at all. Well, they're not humans, they're villagers. If they were humans, then Minecraft Steve would be able to breed with them. And you know I've tried. Okay, just no. You're just jealous because you're not in on the action. Okay, we need to go grab a bunch of iron doors, iron trap doors. So I had some up here still. Just a lurker enjoying content. Glad you like the content. Eight months. Thank you. Some of my barrel man. Alright, almost done with this. A um, few lanterns here and there. Where have I been putting lanterns? I think it's above every second one like that. Yeah. We can get more emeralds to do more stuff. Don't understand a lick about Minecraft. I don't either. You're in the perfect spot. Alright. It's the perfect time to be trapped. I don't have any iron trap doors yet. But that's your no-home now. Forever. <sighs> okay, sweet. Almost done. We have, like, so many villagers. <laughs> you never really notice until you count. But we have so many. Gonna come back to this world in 119. If there's, like, a huge upgrades, maybe. Nice switch up you got there. Thank you so much. It's pretty good, right? Okay. I'm just gonna put these milk buckets away. We don't need them at the moment. I don't need all this stone. Don't know why I have all this. I don't need this ominous banner either. That's weird. How ominous. Can they not leave? They see it as a solid block and so they don't try to leave, no. Alright. Cool. So we need, uh... I think I'm just gonna make all of these into regular stone bricks. Uh, I also need to grab my trap doors. I think we have a ton of trap doors left over. We don't have that many trap doors left over, never mind. Uh, grab half a stack of a block of iron. Good, first stream. Welcome, Nostalgia. Welcome, welcome. Brainwash the villagers to stay. They want to stay, okay? It's not brainwashing. They just, they just genuinely like it. I swear. So are you playing with your mom on Mother's Day? How nice? Yeah, we played uh, some Ibn Ab. That was a puzzle. Yeah. Okay, okay. Boom. You know what I kind of feel bad about and what scares me a ton? I remember the first ever live stream I went to. Shady Penguin was just playing Pokemon. I said, hello. And he said nothing. He, he missed my message. And then I I didn't go to Twitch again for like five years. He just like, just, it's no, no fault of his own. He just happened to miss my message. But I remember that happened and I was like, well, I don't see what the whole big deal about this Twitch thing is. And I just left. That scares me because I'm sure that happens to like people in chat like right now. Like people come to the stream like, oh, I missed my message. Ah, oh, whatever. I guess I'll never come back. I'm sure it happens. It has to happen. 
your speech inflection re resembles Northern Lion so much. I mean, I have watched like probably like 4,000 hours of his videos, so that'll do it. That definitely is a factor. You get Donut World every month in Ept. That's so sad. Speaking of Donut World, Top Hat. Thanks for the sub. Alright, we can disassemble this one now, because don't really can't really do anything with this. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let's replace some of the spots that I dug out real quick. Ask questions commented here, but you don't know. But you but you don't leave because you know it's difficult to see every method. Yeah, that's just that's fair. I hope that people get that. But I mean, it's tough. It's it's definitely tough, and I understand. Like, if someone leaves because they don't get their message read, I'm not really upset, because that's what I did. Uh, that's me. It's okay. <laughs> I did that. I get it. It's not like a, it's not like a thing that uh, I should really... I mean, I, it's something that I can be upset about. I think it, it would be fair, you know? But... I get it. Lily flower. I can't believe you're here either. It's the craziest thing. Alright. Good. We're gonna push this guy into place. Can you free the librarians from minecarts? Oh, they're all in minecarts. Would you look at that? Dang. Huh. I'm not going to. I mean, I could, but they're just going to all pop out, I'm pretty sure. Fine, I'll do it. I'll be a merciful god. Regret, regret, regret. I don't want to hit them by accident. That's where all my minecarts went. All these librarians were hogging them. You're not supposed to have any personal possessions. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Villagers. They think they can have autonomy. No. You're a mindless trading machine. Nice one. Villagers. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Anyone else in a minecart? No. Doo -doo -doo. Alright. Yeah, then we'll start to move these ones into place. Uh, I think I'm going to move this one into place first. Uh, because... It's the one that I need the least, because it's the original villager that we purified. Nice try, idiot. Oh my god! You're not supposed to be able to see across that. No, 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 no. Holy... Oh my god. He freaking parkoured the hell out of that. Jesus. Okay, well, anyways. N narrator. Narrates chat. Narrator, narrator, off. All 
All right. Narrator. No, Raider. No. You do not get to be narrated, chat. You do not get that uh, privilege. We ever do a hardcore series? Um, that's probably for a different site. Okay, this is going. How does narrator get turned on accidentally? I don't know. Oh wait, there's a bed right here. It's like, how do I skip the night? Like so. Phrasing, please. <laughs> what do you mean? Alright. Oh, he's walking back. Holy crap. You know how to jump. No, you don't. Where are you going? Well, that made it easy. I think I'm gonna have to destroy the uh, the one fletching table, but... Wait, where did... Where did I put the fletching table? Did I accidentally put it in a chest? I did... What am I doing? What is this music? Um... Whoa. Lickle! 38 months. This is crazy. That is such a long time, Lickle. How did you do it? Do you have any any words? Hyperlight, let's go. And any any uh, official s speech? Speech, 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 speech. No? People who do that at, like, live events are cringe. It's like, what if the person doesn't want to do a speech? What if they're... What if they really don't want to, and you're just screaming at them to do it? I don't like it. Sounds like someone with social anxiety. Hope you're having a great day. Stellar, I am. We're just organizing these villagers. Putting them in place. Short and sweet speech. I didn't even see the speech. It was so short. Dang. Look what's good to them. Almost made a little home for the villagers. Sorry it got a little sidetracked there. But what can you do, right? What can you do? Huh. Aw. Alright. Oh, these are in place. Just gotta boom. Line them all up. Take the tops off. Are you out of your cart? No, and we'll take them out of their carts, and we're good. Turn on hitboxes so I don't destroy the wrong ones. Boop. Sometimes, man. Don't you? F How do I? How? No! Bruh! They're trying with every fiber of their being to be together. Okay. 
Let them be together. They're in love. No. They get nothing. They do not they do not require love to trade with me. How the heck did you get back here? Get back in your hole. Alright. So we got you, we got you, 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 you. Alright, cool. Yeah, we got all these, uh, got, got a new villager home. Uh, now we're going to build something special. Because we need to build a, a special area. Thanks for the shield design, I really appreciate Uh, we don't have much dark oak, do we? We need to build a, um, a little area for mason villagers. <clears throat> We're gonna build it back here, I think. I need more dark spruce. I don't think I have any more, though. Dark oak, I mean. Dark spruce. Because, yeah, this is, like, kind of necessary, but also not. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Did we ever get the mushrooms? No, that was just an idea for the future. Spruce. That's dark oak, isn't it? Uh, do I have any more dark oak logs? Dark oak slabs. Okay, I'm just going to build a temporary thing out of dark oak. Here we go. Alright, so a 5x5 five five kind of... How'd your last name become Minecraft? I just, I made it Minecraft so if I ever get docs, no one would actually believe it. I'm a school teacher, the kids would have to call me Mr. Minecraft. <laughs> okay. to do is stone cutter like this that's a little annoying stone cutters we want them to be able to restock so we can trade with them all but i want them in like a one block area and i need but they all need to be able to see me um need to be within five blocks of them Did you name your axe after CJ? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. At least one or two got picked up. I'm trying to figure out a way where I can maximize the number of little dudes in our spot without having to deal with stuff. Here's my idea, right? We need to have as many mason villagers as close together as possible. But I still want to be able to access them. So I think what we're going to do... And they all need to be able to access their... Uh, their workstations. So my best idea... Is something like this where their workstations are outside, I'm standing on the inside, and we're surrounded by five of them. Mm. 
Yeah, Council of Randy type beat. We can stand here, and we can trade with them, we can just jump in whenever we want. Uh, I will need to contain them, but this shouldn't be too bad. Making the Ian raid farm? Yeah, that's the exact one we're doing. Literally the exact one we're doing. Alright, I may need a little bit more blocks, but... Yeah, we're just gonna jam every single uh, little dude in here. That's the idea. Oops, right. It actually is still a workable block. So we're going to dump every villager from that area into this hole. Um, I think I'm going to not have the workstations out yet. We're going to place the workstations after. Because that'll be better. How long is he streaming? As long as I need to. Till I get tired is usually the uh, the correct thing. Okay, I can walk in and out of there, but they will be pushed in. Are you uploading the VODs to YouTube? Yeah, you'll be able to see all the VODs and everything. Once it's done... Can you make a raid farm? You'll see later today we're going to be making it. <clears throat> It'll be a bit. Um, I might add a second activator rail if we need it. We might not. We'll see. Can you say hi? No. Yeah, we have extra things. Is is a hard streaming? Is it hard streaming? Is that what the question is supposed to be? I think that's what the question is supposed to be. Is it hard? I don't think it's hard to stream. I think it's hard to stream and be entertaining. Especially if it's a game that you're like not familiar with like people who just play like new games all the time and have a ton of viewers i don't know how the hell they do it i don't understand how like they're just so good at what they do Oop. all right it's gonna take a minute why are you making a raid farm we need it to get axolotls Who's the most famous person you've ever met? It might actually be Ludwig. <laughs> I'm trying to think. We, we spoke at a random event when we both were averaging like 500 viewers. Okay, I have a new priority. Oh my god, I almost shot a villager there. That would have been so bad. New priority! Lanterns. That was terrifying, dude. Wait, did I offset them wrong? Oh, that's so... Wait, what? One... No, wait. I'm so confused. There we go, that's better. Did we get villagers in the first place? Just straight magic, dude. 
Like, literally, a witch. A witch did it. Which? Uh, it's not alive anymore. I can't show you which one. Battered Burrito, thank you so much for the 10 subs. Ooh, thank you. If we're not careful, they will return to Bobbert, and Bobbert will make a friend. Gotta be careful. Yeah, that's a situation I had to watch out for. Okay, good. Have you watched Dragon Ball? Oh yeah, I've watched so much of Dragon Ball. No! No, that's Bobber! Oh god! Holy crap, dude. That was the wrong button. Bobber was about to go murder every single one of those. Yeah, that's the Bobbert button. Sorry about that, Bobbert. Hey, don't you turn around on me. No, 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 no. Go through. Go. 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 Are villagers blocking you? What's going on? Guys! Come on! Get out of the way! Don't make me start locking you fellas in place. I'll do it. This is gonna be a painful part, because we need to get every villager into one of these hoppers and standing in it. And their hitbox just barely fits. But it has to be done, because it locks them in. If anyone guesses what this is, what I'm going to call this, I'll give you a sub if you're not subbed. W what this will be. It's a farm. J Gamer, thanks for the tier 10 subs. The first person that's not, not subbed. There we go. Not Sean. Got it. It's a clay farm. Sorry, Lucid. You're already subbed. This is a clay farm. The only way to get clay in Skyblock. I, I can't get out, actually. Yeah, this is, uh, the reason why it's built this way is because this will give us, uh, large, not a huge amount of clay. It'll, it'll give us, like, a few clay an hour. Better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. We could name these guys as well, that'd be kind of funny, yeah. Could name each one of them something funky. Because how many are here? We'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, there's five, five, sixteen. I don't know what I was counting. How many are in there right now? Five. Five. Eleven more. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Won't be able to fill it up right away, but it'll be a start. Woo. Nice. This is good. Are you going to finish the farm this stream? Uh, yep, we will. Did one escape there? Nope, good. They're all jammed up in the corner because they just want to get to a bed. <laughs> uh... 
Okay. Name them all a different version of Clay, like Clayton. Clay, Clayton. Cole. Cole. No, we could, yeah. Why are you guys... Bro, Cassius, Claymore, Claymer, Claytonio, Clayton, Clayton, Claydol, it's just a Pokemon, Cleopatra, Is it Thiago? That's bait. I'm not falling for that one. Hey, hey, no, no, no. You do not. If you go back, you're gonna, not going to go back home. You're going to go see Bobbert. Barkley. Clagging. I need to be... Bro, you're suffocating him! What the fuck? It's an, es it's, a, it's an escape! Holy shit! No, he's a genius! Prison break! Oh my god! No, they're gonna push. They're gonna push each other off. What the fuck? I gotta open up another door temporarily, so they get all jammed up somewhere else. Yeah, go out. Go out. Good. Oh my god, dude. Can you be- it's Just- Please walk a little closer. Thank you! Oh my- Get in the hole. There we go. Jeez. Freaking. It's a 700 IQ prison break. Bro, you see what happened there? He pushed him into it so he'd break the wall to save him. And in that opportunity, he just freaking ran and escaped, dude. It's the craziest shit I've ever seen. Evil mastermind level stuff, yeah. My goodness. Okay. No, go back. Go back, you coward. Coward! Coward! Well, I guess I didn't need that. Somebody wants it. Oh no! Prison escape! Frick, they're smart, dude! Oh my god! Oh, I had him for a second.
Okay, I have an idea that may work. They have good- they have terrifying pathfinding. Okay, I need to get them perfectly aligned into these holes. Maybe this can work? You psychopaths. Is that too thick? Wait, oh, oh. Ah! That's one. Okay. So we need to do that for every one of them. This is probably the best way where you can line up their head with that. Their body with that, and they will get in. Okay. Good. Seems to be working. Yeah, we just need to do them one at a time. You won't need that many stone cutters? No, I won't. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what they're doing. Damn, so they smart, smart, huh? Okay, interesting. Herd and villagers look fun. It is so awful. Why don't you do them one at a time? Because I'm not smart. Alright? My brain isn't as big as yours. annoying to get with yeah especially getting no especially getting a million of them in one spot at a time the game should allow you to leave villagers although i think leashing villagers i don't know Get more of them into the hole. I mean, if they're into that kind of thing, I guess. Right, yeah, we know they're all trying to get closer to the bed or whatever. Go, 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 go. Okay, you just need to walk to the right slightly. I don't think I can push you to the right at all. I, like, there's nothing I can do to push you to the right. Maybe you'll try and walk to the right by doing that? Oh wait, I can. I can push you that way. How do I get you to be in the corner? Attract him with another bed? Oh, that's smart. I know what he wants me to do, and I'm not going to do it. I won't fall for it, dude. Maybe I will fall for it. there 
Let's start doing this wall now. Then we'll finish the rest later. <clears throat> yeah, ideally these give us like one of every kind of... Uh, ideally this gives us one of every kind of like terracotta and glazed terracotta. And eventually we will, but... Let's try, guys. But no. They're trying to escape every opportunity they get. These dang villagers. Just trying to get out. Damn villagers. Who do they think they are? Thinking they can escape from me. They're so smart. I mean, they must- they better be smart with a head that big. They better be, dude. Alright, good. And Nap, thanks for the gift sub, by the way. I need more iron. Okay. Get you over here, into this corner now. Oh, come on, get in there. Alright, cool. So now that none of them can escape anymore, uh, I will continue to seal this area in. But, uh... A little bit. Maybe we can just we can get rid of these now. Pop 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 pop. Yeah, and now we can freely walk in and out. Uh, once this is all placed down and everything, not any issues. Perfect. Enchanting your boots. Any suggestions? Unbreaking three, I'm ending three, feather falling four, protection four, depth strider three. Maybe soul speed if you're, if you're into that. to sleep for them to take to their jobs we'll see or I may just need to replace some I might need to just replace them it seems like some of them are taking their jobs some of them take jobs some of them don't okay good I think they think they can pathfind. This may take a little bit. There we go. Yeah, because sometimes the wrong villagers claim stuff. Come on, you. Get your job. Call him Clayson. Nope. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. It's like a one in four. There's not that many left. My man. My guy. My dude. A. Nope. Yeah, it was a one in three. Why did it take so long? Because we want them to be right next to their workstations. There we go. Alright. So we got a bunch of these little fellas now. That's awesome. 
possible to finish this before the next update? That would be good, yeah. I'd like to finish this before the next update. Yeah, now we can trade. Um, I think every single one will have the exact same trades. So I'm just going to trade a lot with them to get them to master level. And I think we're going to do them one at a time in the future. I can't remember which hopper is the end. That's land. There you go. Let's see. Is this the new council? It is another council, yes. It is. It may be the council of Clayton. Or Clay. However you want to call him. <clears throat> I'm getting distracted, This, but this is related to the raid farm, and I just don't want to have to do this after the raid farm is done, you know? It would, uh, it would be unfortunate to have to do this after the raid farm. Alright, let's go grab emeralds, level them up, just because it'll give us access to more building materials as well. This is a, a multi-purpose thing. The raid farm will also be just an insane uh, uh, farm for other stuff. You'll see why in a bit. Uh, let's just deposit some of this, though. Uh, I do need a lot of inventory space for this section, though. So I'm just going to deposit everything that I don't need for now. Because, we, yeah, like I said, lots of inventory space we need. Uh, don't need this. I could probably just place that down there. Did you remove Haste 2 from the beginning? Nah, I left Haste 2. It's fine. The Council of Clay? Cock. It's perfect. Uh, I sh should empty this. Alright. Uh, I should probably bring a bed. You know what? I'll just sleep on this bed. Sneedles, Fidel, thanks for the subs, appreciate it. Community gift, two minutes ago. Alright, yeah, it'll be so nice, because we'll, we, it, they're at the height where we can literally just walk right through. Anyways, uh, boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The great thing about this as well is we're going to have a collection system where we can just trade. And, uh,. Do that. Like, we just stand in the center. And can just instantly trade an insane amount of stuff. Okay, I think they all, 100% of the time, have the same trades, it looks like. Yes. Alright, so we'll go next level. 12. 12? Is he leveling up? Yep, okay, good. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You gotta do another Odyssey thing? I'm playing it tomorrow. I play it every week. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1 tomorrow? Uh, check the schedule. Alright, now we get to see. So this guy gives us dripstone. This guy gives us polished diorite. This guy gives us polished granite. This guy gives us polished diorite. That guy sucks. This guy gives us dripstone, polished granite, polished andesite. That's sick. Polished drip or dripstone, polished granite. 
Flush granite and a site. All right, so we have diorite. Granite. Granite. Sick. So yeah, so this is the easiest way to get like polished, uh, polished blocks. We can make regular granite and stuff ourselves, but uh, this is definitely very nice. I don't, I don't want to trade with you. I'm just gonna be serious. S serious. But yeah, so many new building materials now. Super nice. And yeah, and we'll just have a chest that picks up all of their little drops. This guy, he gives us yellow terracotta and red glazed. He gives us gray terracotta and lime glazed. This guy gives us uh, emeralds for quartz, cyan glazed, brown and black. I don't want you. Um, gives us light blue glazed, pink glazed, and blue terracotta. White terracotta, white glazed, cyan. What is a last level? Is it worth leveling them up one more? Or is it always block of quartz? I guess we're about to find out if it's always block of quartz. Um, let's get yellow terracotta. Get some gray terracotta. And it's not a ton, you know, 12 at a time. But, uh, brown, black, terracotta. <sighs> Fine. I'm gonna trade with him. We'll do you. Let's get some blue terracotta. We're just getting so many colors of terracotta. White terracotta. Wait, you give white terracotta? Can Wait, can you dye white terracotta? Can you dye white? Or is that... No, it's plain terracotta. You can't dye white. You can dye plain terracotta. Uh. Alright. So yeah, we just unlocked... A lot of different options for terracottas. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mm, I think I'm gonna... Just place this down here. Nope, that's wrong. Here? Nope. Here? Yeah, there we go. I think I will cover this back wall with blocks. Just because I think it might... Uh, I don't know, it just feels better. Might need to put a light over there, though. Just for now. Yeah, super cool. Why do you need terracotta? Just building blocks that we couldn't have access before. Couldn't have access to before. So, just nice to have it. Put the terracotta over its owner. Uh, you know what? We should probably label what they have so we don't have to click on them all. We could probably put signs eventually. But you know what? I kind of like that. Let's, uh... We could just do... Hmm. Yellow, gray... Um... Cyan glazed... Brown and black... You light blue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Light blue. Uh, regular blue. White. Something about this is not working. It's temporary for now. We'll leave it for now. This is, uh... We'll, we'll figure out a better solution later on. I think I'm probably just gonna put signs in front of all of them. I don't know how I'm gonna put a sign in front of that guy, but... Yeah, I think maybe putting it behind them would be better. That's true. 
All right, let's go make a terracotta chest really quick. Uh, I'm gonna leave the stone cutters here. Cool. Good. Name tag them? Nah, they won't despawn. It'll take too long. Name tagging each one individually. Just don't use corners. Yeah, but we need maximum efficiency because it's actually a farm. It might not look like it, but it is a farm. Get a few more chests. Oop. Oop. Put all the terracotta in here. Uh, and this is going to be regular stone materials, I think. And then we're going to have a special stone chest now. This is going to be like terracotta and, reg and special. So we're just going to put some cyan terracotta there. This will be the special stone chest. We're not going to use as much special stone. So this can be fine. Like so. That's all made out of regular stuff. Good. Jesus Christ, first dream is not expecting this much stuff in a skyblock world. Yeah, I mean, the, I am I am taking it to its limits. That's for sure. That's, that's the whole goal. Um... I need to organize a little bit better. There's so much just garbage around. Oh my god, I have bone blocks just chilling? Since when? Uh, we'll put that in this chest. But yeah, this is going on YouTube eventually, if you're curious. It is. Eventually. This just random stuff here. Uh, put the tool away. Good. I'm doing better than your survival. I mean, I've probably spent more of the time in this than your survival, I, w I would bet. I still don't have, like, a good s storage system, which is funny. <clears throat> editor be like, oh, I'm editing it, though. It's me. I'm the editor for this one. Mob drops. Let's grab some more arrows. Organize a bit better. Basically, every time I do this, I just organize a little more. Just slowly is it slowly is getting more and more organized as I go along, but it takes time, man. a whole series on the VODs channel. It will be, but it won't be for a while. You can just watch it on Twitch if you want. What's the end goal for possible Skyblock? Uh, the end goal is on the, the sheet. We have like a sheet of goals. Use a command. Alright. So now that we've done the, uh, the little Council of Clayton... I'm gonna double check if any have grown up. Yeah, okay. Villager breeder in full force. We have two more here. Four more. They just gotta grow up. Um, I think uh, I think we need to get all the resources for. We need to get all the resources for some other stuff. Distracted. Um, let's get all the resources set for the uh, the raid farm now, because I have a, an image of the exact items we need. So I'm just gonna start filling a chest with all of the stuff we need, and then we'll go build it, like right now. So here, there, um, we need uh, a dispenser. Good. We'll need two buttons and a pressure plate. Two buttons, and it's a stone pressure plate. Okay. You never told us how you're going to get an axe lot out of the raid farm? You'll see. You're good. Make a slow-falling potion with a membrane and an awkward potion. Good one. 
<sighs> How do I make an awkward potion? Lever. We need some string. We need 16 armor stands. I don't know why, but apparently we need... S How do you even make armor stands again? It's like a bunch of sticks. Sticks and smooth stone slabs? Maybe. Nether wart for an awkward potion. Okay. Now how do I get nether wart? I don't know how to make a... Wait, is it like smooth, smooth stone? Like smooth, smooth? Like these? Hmm. Uh, uh, <gasps> aha, I figured it out. Dang, I'm good. They only stacked to 16? What the heck? Oh, whatever. 16, we need 10 ladders. Da, 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 da. Five signs. Da, 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 da. Five signs, some trap doors. Da, 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 da. Uh, 6 a bunch of bone meal and just some garbage items. I don't think I actually I think I just need a bunch of kelp. Yeah, it's just a bunch of kelp. Probably four stacks of kelp will do. And then we'll use the kelp as the garbage items. Uh, some... Magma blocks. Uh, we need some soul sand. Some normal building blocks. We'll need ten sticky pistons. And fourteen regular pistons. Let's just build a bunch of pistons just to get them out of the way right now. Haven't built pistons in a while. How is that only 20? I didn't have enough wood. Okay. Your brain cells are gone. How did you do a guardian farm? I just farm the guardians. I don't know what to tell you. Just farm the guardians. Perfect. Alright. There we have no more pistons now. So that's 14. We also I think I'm gonna bring a few extra stickies. Don't sign still stacked to uh, whatever. Probably, but I don't have um Oh crap, I turned them all into it. Probably, but I don't have that. We need a bunch of glass or uns for that act as unspawnable blocks. Uh, oh, I have enough glass. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad I've been diligently collecting it as we've been going, because it's good. Six. Okay. Uh, 23 walls. I think I have a few. 43. Nice. Uh, just two stacks of regular building blocks. Do you have to pay for your own sub? Yeah. Oh, me. I don't need to. No. I'm subbed automatically. I get a tier 3 forever. How do you get glass villagers? Yeah. That is correct with villagers. Um, just gonna put more in there. We have our redstone. We have our walls. I can put this iron back. Okay, lots of random things.
things. We need two buckets of lava, a bucket of water. I'm just going to bring three in case I mess it up. Uh, building block. We're just going to do this out of cobblestone this time. I think we need 19 observers. I have that many, which is nice. Uh, 20... 20 comp posters? I don't know why we need 20 composters, but oh, thank God we have a use for these damn slabs. Good. I have so many of these slabs that I'm needing to get rid of. They're just like stray slabs in every chest. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, finally. A reason to use them. Okay. Just gonna dump them all in here. Okay. Get rid of those ones. Perfect. 44. Kind of went a little overboard. I'll be honest. I don't care. Okay, we have some extra composters. Did he... How did he ignore then? I don't know. Apparently you need a lightning rod. Some cauldrons. Bro, what is... Cauldrons and... Ch what? There's so much stuff you need for this. It's crazy. Some torches. Alright... A lightning rod. Thank goodness we have the materials for a lightning rod now. I think this is just in case anything catches on fire. Um, a few sets of stairs. Eight stairs. We'll bring that. Cauldron plus composter to create a ravager trap that removes them and kills them off to the side. Oh, cool. That's kind of clever. Uh, four colored glass. Not sure why, but I'll trust them. A few fence posts. We need a few slabs as well. Uh, that's everything. We just need a few extra building blocks on top of that. So we'll just clear out, uh, just a few of my inventory slots. For uh, just like a bunch of cobblestone. I'm going to bring redstone block instead. Because it's a little bit more efficient and I can just bring extra. We do not need to bring these sticks. Uh, the boat we do not... Ah, I'll bring the boat just in case. Okay, this is everything we need to build a raid farm. I don't know why there's... Oh wait, no, we need a couple stacks of bamboo. Or sorry, of scaffolding. Do you recommend getting this? Getting Minecraft? Or... What do you mean? Okay, cool. We may need to take a few trips for this. Because I'm starting to get full on my inventory and I need to make some things. Because apparently you need five stacks of scaffolding. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Sick. How do you get villagers? Cure, cure zombies. Tell me more about this Minecraft. Uh, it's 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 something that only I can't really explain it. It's a phenomenon. It can't be explained. It's just something that is. Where did I put all my spare ender chests? I made like a million extras. Where did I put them? Maybe I didn't make a million extras and I completely misremembered. Did you guys see any ender chests while I was going through that? Okay, I misremembered. half of them there. This world is a whole new investment. Yeah. Alright. Let's go bring all the materials over. Yo, Thunder Dragon. Let's go. 18 months. It's a long time. Is this vanilla? Yeah, this is vanilla Skyblock. It's the original map. Uh, but updated to 118. Doo -doo -doo. 
Not chocolate? No chocolate, unfortunately, nah. But yeah, I don't think it's possible to 100% this. There's certain things that you'll just never be able to do. You can never loot a bastion chest. Yeah, even if you could if you could get to the end, there so technically I think there are ways to We we figured out today that um if you could get to the end, you still can't get diamonds, you still can't enchant, and you still can't um get netherite. So those goals you can just never do. You might be able to get how do we get here if entities exist, but the blocks don't. But uh it's tough. Okay, open this up, get a double chest, we'll put all the materials in here, I think. Um, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm just going to empty this out and bring it all through into here. Uh, I'm not quite sure how far my portal should be. I think we have to, um, I think our raid farm itself uh, has to be... Uh, 128 blocks away from our portal, because stuff needs to despawn when we leave. So we will need to, uh... Uh, we will need to go 128 blocks away. Yeah. You should map your world? Maybe. Are you planning on all advancements? Yeah. Yeah, we're we're pretty close. Um, we're gonna be getting all. We're gonna be getting uh, like, where is it? We're getting all of the the raid related ones today. We're getting uh, post mortal today. Uh, we got who's the pillager now? Uh, we won't be doing that today. Uh, there's another one. Uh, we'll we'll be getting this one today. The cutest predator. Uh, healing power of friendship probably today. Yeah, we'll see. I hope the raid farm doesn't take too long, because I actually have a lot to do tonight. The skyblock is grindy as it seems. No, no. So the thing about skyblock is uh, if you need something, just make a farm for it. So like, um, we needed uh, we needed iron, so we made a farm. We needed honey, we made a farm. We needed, uh, the, the only grindy part was uh, before we had Wandering Traders farm. The only thing was the Wandering Trader farm. Before that was grindy, but once you hit that, it's all good. Uh -huh. What? How does it work? Right, keep one on me. Like, once you get to a certain point, uh, Skyblock isn't really about the... It's grindy. Like, it's mostly just, like, building. Because farms are just easier to build in Skyblock. Usually. Except the water-based ones. Like, I think the hardest farm to build was definitely the, um... The Guardian farm. But, like... This farm wasn't difficult, it was just time-consuming because it required so much freaking iron. But like, once it's built, we just automatically get rotten flesh, gold, and like, a lot of it. Like, we automatically get leather, string, that's what I came here for. Arrows, iron, soul sand, blackstone, gravel, crying obsidian, obsidian, nether bricks, nether quartz, fire resistance potions. And with the rotten flesh and gold, you can trade for redstone, lapis, glowstone, levels, um, emeralds. And then, like, you have emeralds for the other villagers where you can get other stone. Like, once you build this farm, it's no longer grindy. <laughs> this farm, specifically in in combination with the Council of Randy, is actually so good. But yeah, this is all completely vanilla skyblock. Yeah. Oops. 
Gotta be careful there. Destroyed my boat and the whole thing in the process. Okay. I'm fixing that right now. Do you have a magma cube farm? Yeah, yeah, we had to make a magma cube farm, so... Um, to make the magma cube farm, we needed iron. Uh, the, the early stages of Skyblock are crazy, because... To, uh, to make that machine, we needed, um, magma. But to get magma, we needed iron. Uh, but to get iron, we needed villagers. To get villagers, you needed a regular mob farm and a small gold farm to purify them. It was just like, to do one thing, you needed to do eight other things. But once, like, all of the basics are done, like the wood, the, the cobblestone, the iron... Uh, once you have all the farms built, you actually don't need to farm anymore. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of yak shaving, exactly. This wall is so cool. I'm so sad we didn't get the invisibility today, man. You find it weird a lot of people don't know you from YouTube? No, it makes sense. It totally makes sense. Oh wait, I need 12 regular ice as well. Ghosty J Peg is raiding? Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I am playing a vanilla skyblock world. Where, um... A vanilla skyblock world from the haunted house. I'm playing on a vanilla skyblock world. We're building a raid farm today. Minor deviation. Thanks for the tier one. Hope everyone's doing well. Raiders for the raid farm. Yeah, you might be farming raids. There's still time for invisibility. Uh, wandering Trader needs to spawn. But the one Wandering Trader after AFKing all night didn't generate. Raid farm is successful. We are getting raided by people. Yes. What is this? Really? Huh. Is this an official Twitch email? Sus. It's a really good phishing scam if it is. Oh no, no, never mind. That's not a phishing scam. Huh? Oh, nothing. I just... I just saw something that would have made for a really, really good phishing scam. But, uh, it, it was legitimate. Because it was sent to my... My, uh... My business email. My not public one. The, the one that my... My, uh... my Twitch, uh, what is it called? I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, anyways. Oh shit, you know what I forgot? To, I forgot to grab building blocks. I'm so bad, man. We gotta go back real quick. Oh, this is gonna hurt me. Oh, no, it didn't. We gotta go back, I forgot to get cobblestone. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm just trying to focus. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget stuff. Was it like getting wither skulls? It was fine. Once we made a farm, it, uh, you know, just a few minutes of waiting. Because, yeah, we just made a, a blaze slash wither skeleton farm. It's insanely inefficient. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely deconstruct our entire um, blaze farm. And uh, I'm just going to make a, 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 a 
pure wither skeleton farm. Because we need coal and bones, and that's really it. And then, you know, the skulls are nice, I guess. Juanito, thank you for the prime. Because, yeah, blazes are just awful. And it's so much easier to manipulate the uh, AI of wither skeletons. Alright, we can get rid of the pillager outpost sign, because we're actually at it now. You're going to feel so empty when this challenge is done? Yeah, what are we going to do when this challenge is done? I actually already know what we're going to do. It's going to be so sick. Okay. We are finally... Finally have all the resources. No longer distracted. Hello, VOD Watchers. This was streamed on May 9th. We gotta start doing that. It's kind of funny. Because I'm just gonna forget to put it in the title, in the thumb, or in the description. Of 2020. 2022, sorry, not 2020. Oh my god. It's 2022. Hmm? Since when? Hmm? There was a cow in the instruction video. Cool. Start it out of slabs here. Did I bring more light sources than just these torches? I don't want them to spawn. I think this will prevent pillagers from spawning. We're about to find out though. We're just gonna go uh, 128 blocks from our portal in this direction. Is my idea, so where are we here? Okay, what is that? We're gonna go to 64 128 blocks. I'm just gonna go 28, that's 60, 50, 50, 450, close enough. That'll give us some leeway, too. Oh, no, I have to add if I'm going in this direction. Oh, God damn it. Uh, what do I do? How do I... You know what? 1,590 plus 130. There we go. Um, yep. I just need to be very careful. My brain, the math part of it, not working today. Thousand seven hundred twenty. Good. You're hoping it's e ENXO4's design? Yeah, it's ENXO4's design. That's why we have like no materials because it's so simple.
All right, here we go. Da -da. But yeah, we're doing ENX04's design. I just grabbed extra of everything in case I break it and it just falls into the void. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go a few extra blocks so I have some space to build with. All right. What about the villagers? What villagers? Heading to outpost cords. We have... That's the outpost cords over there. Let's go to... A little further out. I'm going away from the outpost. So the raid farm isn't... So we don't get attacked by shit while we're in the raid farm. Okay. Uh, now we need to go down a few blocks. I'm not sure how far, but this is always the scary part. Let's change our controls back to behold. <sighs> Alright, it's probably far down enough that we... Can do whatever we want with building. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna pause the music and I'm gonna watch the tutorial video on the side. Okay, let's get to building. This okay. farm must be built in a specific location within a chunk, and it must have a specific orientation. As a result, I'll be referring to the player's X and Z position within the chunk or subchunk frequently. You'll find this information to the left of the chunk coordinates on the F3 debug screen. Okay. Values range from zero to fifteen. Yeah. Different from the usual coordinates that yep, players normally reference. As an example, the X and Z subchunk position of my feet are currently 1 and 3. Yeah, you got it. I refer to the Y coordinates using the normal coordinate system, so my feet are at Y level 64 in this example. And I'll often need to refer to the Y level of certain blocks. The targeted block information on the right side of the screen shows you this information for the block that you're looking at. Start by finding a spot in the ocean at least 70 blocks away from any land. You can change the render distance. Ah, oh, shit, this isn't an ocean. To six chunks as a quick it's, it's, it's an ocean because nothing spawns there. That was a joke. To verify that there's no land nearby, you may find it useful to choose a build site that's close I to don't there. think there's any land nearby. Village, so that you can grab a few of their villagers for the farm. But this isn't critical. You can move them through the nether as well. We will. Set down a lily pad at the X and Z subchunk position of 14 and 9. Place a block on 14 and 9. Underneath, and crouch down to stack six scaffold. At the top. All right. 14 and 9. All right, I'm at nine. Wait, I need to go down though. Shit. Okay, it has to be at, let's see. Uh, 60 something. Let me see. Top. Set down a lily pad. At Sixty-three is the elevation. So looking at sixty-three at fourteen and nine. Okay. This is his lily pad. We'll have to destroy those blocks later. Maybe I can reach this. We'll see. Villagers are needed for the raid farm. So true. Okay. At the X and Z subjunct position of 49. Yeah, yeah. Place a block underneath and uh -huh. crouch down to stack six scaffolding. At the top, your feet should be at Six scaffolding. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, anything built out of wood gets destroyed later. Remind me to destroy this later. It is critically important. All right. Uh, we're gonna bring over an ender chest with the materials that we have. It's good. You watch YouTube all the time. Yo, let's go. Okay. This is the stacking farm. Yeah, this is a Minecraft elegance practical stacking raid farm. Apparently. Don't forget to place a block under your lily pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly where the lily pad, I think, was, maybe. Let me see. White pad at the X and Z. 
the subjunct position of 14 and 9. Place a block underneath and crouch down. You can move them through. Oh shit, it's a Y62. We need to bring it down one more. You're right. Okay, we're gonna grab our glass. And I think this. Cool. Good. Uh. I, I'm gonna be walking down. Wait, why did I not grab the ender chest? Are you on one block? I'm gonna ignore, ignore the questions. Ignore the questions. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Okay. Ignore easily answered questions. This is what I need to do. It's just, it's the first three words of the title. Damn it! I answered the question. It's so quiet now, isn't it? It's so. It's just, what are we doing? We're just, it's just so, my goodness. Kind of awkward, right? And boom, bam, okay, cool. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna place this here. And grab extra stuff if I need it. I need to get back over there. Okay, here, let's see what he's saying now. Another as well. Set down a lily pad at the X and Z subjunct position of 14 and 9. Place a block underneath and crouch down to stack 6 scaffolding. At the top, your feet should be at Y69 and then bridge out to the south. With nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, it said crouch, but you can only place two if you're crouching. Three, four. Hello? This is why I got extras. Why is it not placing more? It said crouch. Sir? Sir? I don't know how these work. Three, four, five, six. Scaffolding to serve as a foothold blade should be at Y69, and then bridge out to the... Nice. And then bridge out to the south. Oh my god, you cannot crouch on these. Oh, I hate that. Wait, can you not... Wait, can I fall through the bottom of this? If you crouch? Okay. Don't crouch twice. This is terrifying, bro. He's building it over an ocean. I'm building it over certain death. South with one scaffolding to serve as a foothold later on. Okay. Continue stacking another nine scaffolding until your feet are at Y78. Okay. One, two. What the hell? Two. What the hell? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To your feeder at Y78. Yo, okay. Eight, and add another foothold to the south. To the south. All right, boss. Yeah. Add 11 more scaffolding until your feeder at Y89, and add a foothold to the east. East. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we need to go to Y89 and then to the east. 89 to the east. Okay. 12 more scaffolding until your feet are at Y101. Okay. 12 more. Y101. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If he falls, he doesn't lose everything. Yeah, I do. 
What, you think I can pick it back up from the void, bro? And add a foothold to the south. South. And also bridge out to the west on five scaffolding. Okay, west. Add 31 scaffolding to the tower, but don't go up yet. Okay, boss. 31 scaffolding to the tower. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. One, two, three, four. I don't know how many I added. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. Soul sand is not in this chest. Never. We'll, we'll verify that it's right once we get back. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. This requires ocean at surface level. Nah. I doubt it. This is so stressful. Yeah. Building farms in Skyblock is stressful. I agree. Terrifying, isn't it? Uh, Servers are there. <laughs> Why is there a dispenser? I don't know. Let's grab it. <clears throat> Once it's... Especially with zero music. Yeah, it's just... So much could go wrong. Please leave your good gear behind. Okay, fine. I'll leave my... Why the hell did he spawn? I guess there isn't not light enough here. If I didn't have my good gear, I wouldn't have killed him. SMH. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my boots with me. I need my boots. And I need my helmet for water breathing. I'll leave my chest plate and pants. Okay. Good. Yeah, once he adds the lava, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a platform that acts as the smooth stone that the lava would have created is my idea that's that's what i'm thinking so far oh just came from another stream then i did welcome we're building a very 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 precarious farm um because one misclick and uh i just die Okay, good. And then temporary blocks we build with of ten and nine and add a one. Uh where's my wood? I needed more wood. Ah oh, shit. I gotta go grab the wood and sleep so stuff doesn't spawn while I'm building. <sighs> yeah, my wood's not here. 
Minecraft elegance perfection. It's all good, no problem. Is that my guy ENX04? Yep. He uses lava casting to create spawning pipes, which then cascades onto the ocean surface to make the killing sorting platform. Also, having the water surface is necessary because at several points he instructs you to jump off the build to get to the bottom builder, then fast, then falling. Yeah, it's great. Um, if only we had that. It's really, it's really good. If only we could do that. Unfortunately, we can't, so... Just gotta live with it. Uh, I There's really, like... Like, I could make a big platform underneath, but, like, we're not gonna do it. Music, please? I need to be able to hear the tutorial. I'm sorry it, if... I'm sorry it, the, there's no music, but... We gotta just have it here. We gotta... I'm gonna... The, the music is gonna be Ian XO4's p pleasing... Uh... Tone of voice. It's very calm... And relaxing. Just... Place 11 blocks south. But yeah, this is a raid farm. This gives us, uh... Our witch farm was specifically made for basically potions exclusively. This is gonna be our actual, like, witch drops. Anyways. Y level of 103 when standing on this top piece. 103. Go back to the foothold. Place a temporary block. Got it. 103. Okay. Block on the bridge next. Temporary block. To the tower and break the scaffolding bridge. From the temp. Uh. Uh huh. Temporary block. Place lava on top of the mold for lava casting the drop shoot. Ah uh, shit! We're lava casting already. Continue up the scaffolding and confirm that. Alright, so we need to build a large platform where the water level should be. Uh, so, I'm just going to go down and do that right now. Uh, because we need to do that. So, what level is water level at? I believe it is down here. This is the water level. So, we're going to build this. And it should work fine, as long as we destroy the little platform. Have you ever thought of speedrunning Minecraft? Yeah, I... I've beat it in 15 minutes. I, uh... I actually technically... Yeah, like, I've done it a lot, uh, Luz. Um... Gonna make a nice big platform here. I love when Ants gets questions like this. Yeah. Yeah, I actually was uh top eight in Minecraft speedrunning. And by top eight I mean I got eighth place. Granted, I used the same cheats Dream did, and it took me two hours to get eighth in the world, but uh I have done it. Really makes you think, right? Isn't this just going to cut down my tower? I'm so confused. Alright, good. Saxophone and piano. I have no idea what's going on with the pole. Misclicks the scaffolding? That would suck. Be so annoying, dude. I have no idea how big this needs to be, but it's going to be hell because it's now a mob spawning platform that we will be constantly, like, quite a distance away from. You can waterlog the tower. Eh, whatever. Take a second to really go in on the poll. You guys are just voting for random instruments. <laughs> oh, man. This is so... It just takes too much focus right now. How far is lava really gonna travel? It travels three in every direction. I guess it spreads because of that lava cast shape, isn't it? Uh.
Hmm. For the love of God, please just sleep. I don't have a bed on me, and I don't really feel like going back. By the time we're done building this platform, it'll probably be daytime, right? What is lava casting? Uh, it's using the mechanics of lava and water interacting to form blocks to make a, uh, a structure for us, so we don't have to place any blocks, essentially. I think this is big enough that it will work. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to assume it is. I'm really hoping the lava is going to go around this and not actually hit it. I have no idea what will happen, but I'm just going to hope. And yeah, and now at this point, I actually need to uh, grab that water. And I will need to take all this out. Uh, 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 here we go. Go, go, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, well, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea whether this is going to work or not. Is Skyblock some mod or something in the game? All right, I'm going to read the command because a few people are asking. All right, here is what the command says. You type the command in chat and then you click on it and it says, Skyblock is the most popular Minecraft challenge map of all time. Created in 2012, the map is very simple. Giving the player a lava bucket, two pieces of ice, and ten obsidian. The player is left on a floating dirt island in the void with nothing else but a single oak tree. My goal is to take this simple map to its absolute limits. It has 2.3 million downloads. It came out in 2012. All right. Just getting rid of that. All right, Ian. Get your feeder at Y, 100 on the bridge next to the tower, and break the scaffolding bridge. Okay. From the temporary block, place lava on top of the mold for lava casting the drop chute. Okay. I probably shouldn't have built this out of wood, Continue huh? Continue up the scaffolding and confirm that your feeder at Y, 132, and add a foothold to the east. Add 31 whoa, whoa, wait, wait, go, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Your feet 132 and add a foothold. Continue up the scaffolding and confirm that your feet are at Y 132 and... Confirm that my feet are at Y 132. They are not. Um... So it seems like scaffolding is flammable? What the fuck is that about? Why is this built out of scaffolding if it can burn, bro? Wait, maybe it's... It was just a single little fire? It was the little fire that did it? What the hell? Weird, dude. It's, I think it's because the wood caught fire. Huh. Well, whatever. Uh... What the hell? Someone remind me to remove this block. We need to go to Y132. That was scary, dude.
Yeah, scaffolding at the bottom seems chill. Remove the block? No, that's there for a reason. And I... Oh, wait. Why? 132. 3, 2. Okay. Add a foothold to the east. East. Got it. To the east. To the east. Okay. Add 31 scaffolding again so that your feed are at Y 163. 163. Okay. Shut up. Okay. It seems like you just need to add like a million of these little freaking things. Here we go. This seems complicated. Yeah, I, I don't exactly know how it works, but I'm just trusting that it will work. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, boom, boom. Eight, nine, sixty, one, two, three. This is why we brought extras. All right, and then one sixty three needs to be placed west. And then it goes up to a hundred and ninety four to the west. Okay. How much scaveling do I have left? Not lots. All right. Oh. 194 west. Yeah, it's west twice. Okay. Whew. 194. And it goes west one. And you place one there. And you go to 226 and 5 to the south. All right. How to get a hold of an RTX 3090? It just got, I walked into Best Buy and was like, hey, can I have one? And they were like, okay. Two hundred twenty-six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And a foothold to the west. Add foothold 226. Yeah. Bridge out on five scaffolding to the south and place a temporary block right in front of you. And right in front of me. And one at the end. And one at the end. When standing on this end block, yep. your X and Z subchunk position should be 14 and 14. Oh. And the Y level of your feet should be 227. Ooh, baby. Go back to break the bridge and place lava on top of the temporary block for lava casting. Ah, uh, shit. Tower. I need to make the... Okay. I need to make the uh, the platform down there bigger. I should have kept my armor on. I'm going to land in the lava. I just got to climb down, bro. Uh, I want to see. What the hell? How did I take fall damage? Any creepers? Just gotta double check. No creepers? No creepers. Okay. So, it's gonna go over this way. Do you know how efficient it'll be? 128,000 items per hour. Apparently. So, uh, I, I don't know. That seems pretty decent. What items? Emeralds, redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, totems of undying. Uh, saddles, I guess. It's, it's pretty good. How do you get renewable lava? Dripstone. It is so freaking quiet. With, uh, do I need more cobblestone? No shot. Alright, if I do that, will it spread too far? Because it spreads three blocks. I was at 14, 14 on the sub chunk. So if I just stand at 14, 14. This is where that is, I think. Is there three blocks in every direction that it can travel? Yeah. Okay. Good. 
Okay, we should be fine then. We should be fine to just put, uh, that there. What's the map? Use the skyblock command. Remember to break the cobble on the way back up? No, we will eventually. Like, we will need to break that one, but it is a temporary block. He will tell me to destroy it later on. But, uh, the tutorial doesn't actually take that long. That's cool. Yeah, the only thing is we do need, we didn't need to build a platform for the lava to actually fall onto. Which is kind of funny. I'm your favorite streamer slash YouTuber. Let's go. But what we're going to have to do is, uh, with the lava cast, um, the outline of the lava cast, we have to just cut the platform. I'm fairly sure. Jump? I don't want to jump, dude. It's too scary. I'm too much of a little baby. The lava cast. Is that a new kind of podcast? Yes, sir. Now quickly hit the lava cast in the signal tower. All right. Go back to break the bridge and place lava on top of the temporary block for lava casting the signal tower. All right. Now quickly head down to the lava casting quickly. tower for the drop shoot. What? Ideally, you want to get there before the lava from the ah! signal tower reaches the same Y level. Ugh. Stand on the temporary block and pick up the lava and wait until you can just see the sides of the temporary block ah! the and then place water on top. Wait a moment and then pick up the water and then clear out the cobblestone and temporary blocks so that the top of the tower is flush with the soul sand. Okay. And then work. Just wait, just wait, just wait. <gasps> it's a race, apparently. I was not made aware. Oh shit, that's why we have feather falling. Oh my god. Okay, until you can just barely see the temporary block and then you put water on it. So you stand here till you can see the temporary block. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for Oh no! Wait! No, our temporary block burned! I think it's fine. We need to add a few blocks, but I'm, I think it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just see what it looks like. Your way down to the cobblestone at the ocean surface. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, we're missing a few blocks, but it's fine. It's fine. We're just we're just missing a few. Um. Just gotta add a few extras, I guess. Yep. There's a. How is there a creeper in the lava? What? I don't get it, bro. Okay, we gotta go grab more of the cobblestone really fast. Wait, how do I even make it back onto the... Onto here? You know what? We're gonna add some temporary scaffolding right here. No. Boom. That's how we do it. And I need to apparently do it before we... That lava reaches the floor. It's a race. Here we go. All things considered, it worked pretty well. Yeah, it kinda did. The platform is one block too high alert. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wait. I used all of my cobblestone? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to do that. I don't think so. Yes, it is. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You mean the base platform down here is too high? If that's what you're saying, I know it's not. I tried it. It's at 63. 62, sorry. Which is the water level. Ah, shit. It's nighttime. It's at water level, dude. 
So the cobblestone platform is going to be where the smooth stone normally is. You built it five times in Skyblock? I doubt it. No one plays Skyblock as much as me. I can't believe it. Alright, that's what we had to do. Okay, Ian. Oh. Make an entrance to the drop chute. Set down a torch inside and pillar up on six blocks in the middle, at the X and Z subjunct position of 10 and 9, until your feet are at Y69. Wait, where? Where? What? Z subjunct position of 10 and 9. And pillar up on six blocks. Make, Make an entrance to the drop chute. Okay. Got it. An entrance to the drop chute. Set down a torch inside and pillar up on six. A torch inside and pillar up. Wait, this seems weird. Blocks in the middle. Make an entrance to the drop chute. Set. There's a few extra things in here. Down a torch inside. Sit down a torch inside. And pillar up on six blocks in the middle. In the middle, six blocks, got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the X and Z subjunct position of 10 and 9. Yeah. Until your feet are at Y69. Replace the block to the east at Y70. Y70? To the east? With a dispenser facing. Dispenser? Up. Facing up. Okay. Containing at least one armor. At least one armor stand. I don't have any armor stands on me. Crap. This is the wrong exit. Good. Focused. It's so quiet. I hate it. Never join stream? What's up, Jack? No rush. I mean, there is a kind of a rush because now there's going to be mobs jumping down from above. They will be attacking me. What the hell? What happened? Bro, really? What do I have? Fuck, that's all my glass. Whoa. There's a phantom. A phantom just spawned on me, dude. Alright. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of my inventory. Um We have to replace the dispensers, all the fucking glass. That's pretty much the only thing that's annoying. Alright. Well. Hey, Pepperoni. Hey, Blu-ray. Your kid grew up. God, that's so annoying, dude. So annoying. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, we have everything back. That's crazy. Wow. Buy more glass. Yeah, we're gonna have to start doing that. Boom. Bam. It's just, it's very limited quite often. 
Although I guess we do have a lot more librarians now, which is cool. How did you... How did you get back there, dude? No, what are you, what are you doing? For your inventory and media if you don't want to know exactly what you lost. I think I'll be okay. It was just like dispensers and like some other items. It mostly just sucks having to like inventory manage all the books now. Alright, well, there's all that back. Good. Mm-hmm. I need regular books. I don't have any with me right now. That should be enough. Rich man goes on a shopping spree, yep. Alright, we have fortune. Uh, we'll grab looting. Grab unbreaking t seven times. Eight times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we need uh, mending. We'll need eight times. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't have any inventory space. Uh, the chest and the pants were saved, though. That's true, yeah. That is tr You know what? I don't want to have to run back. I'm just going to buy pearls. I need to go deposit my inventory super quick. Actually, you know what? We'll put the glass back in here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Uh, let's go back up. Or put these in the books chest. Uh, we're going to have to empty this out temporarily and, and put other stuff in there. Which is only going to take a second. Boom, 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 Uh, yes. Here, we have a few books. We have Respiration, Sharpness, Fortune, Sharp, Fortune, Respiration, Sharpness. Uh, we have Smite. Mm, yeah, that's good. Hang on. Is this a Skyblock? I... How do you find this stream without... Like, this is a genuine question. This is, like, I'm not trying to dunk on you or anything. How did you find the stream without seeing the title? Aruza. I'm just curious. Because I, I, like, I genuinely... You're already far and you clicked... Okay. That makes sense. If you're following already and click on it... And it... Because it just said Minecraft. The... Shit. Now they're all gonna hate me, bro. Oh, that really sucks. It's not uncommon? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Accidentally closed it. Smite. We already have Smite. Sweeping edge. I'm out of book. No, I'm not out of book. Sweeping edge. Protection four on all of these. One. Two. Three. I'm not going to get the fourth one. Feather falling. That takes 57 emeralds. What a ripoff. Sharpness we already have. Flame. We'll buy it for the bow. Aqua affinity. Power. I don't have enough emeralds. Wow, I'm broke. We'll, uh, we'll enchant what we have here now. Uh, let's grab a boat. Do I have a bow in here? Yep. <laughs> boat. There it is. Someone gifted me a bunch of subs to jump into the void. Thanks, by the way. I'm rich now. Okay, we 
need more emeralds. Randy, please be my savior. Thank you, Randy. So ge generous kings, Randys. They are. So generous, Randys. Thank you. Thank you, my king, Randy. Oh, my goodness. We should have enough emeralds to finish off the gear. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Okay, cool. Now uh, that's a good start. Now that Randy is done with that. Based Council of Randy. I know, right? So based. Good. You can come up with a better deal. If you give me a sub, I will delete your world. I've been waiting for someone to offer that for the longest time. And now we enchant everything. We have our ender chest. Let's start with mending and unbreaking. This will be hell. Uh, unbreaking and mending. Unbreaking, mending. Unbreaking, mending, protection. And protection, feather falling. Do we have feather falling in my inventory? Feather falling. Protection for feather falling. Okay. That is our boots done. Phase four crocs. Those are back. Bang. Uh, let's get our hat back. We need respiration on it still, but we'll do that later. We'll uh, throw mending protection four, unbreaking three, aqua affinity. Uh, combine those two to get the cappy. Okay, enchanted drip. We already have pants and stuff, so I think I'm just gonna not do that. Because we have the pants over at the other place still. So, let's make our sword now, where it has unbreaking and mending. Uh, mending. We want fort- no, we want looting. So we want unbreaking, we want mending, we want looting. And smite. Smite. And sweeping edge. I think we have sweeping edge in our inventory. Wait, we did get respiration for the hat. I forgot I bought it. There we go. Bam, Cappy's done. Okay. Uh, smite, looting, unbreaking, mending, sweeping edge. Where is it? Sweeping edge. We'll add that after, I guess. Boom, bam, bang. No. 19, 9. No, it broke. Alright, 29. How's everybody doing? Shouldn't Cappy be the name of the sword? Nah, no, the name of the sword is... Skyward. Uh, have you done a Minecraft randomizer yet? I have not done a Minecraft randomizer yet. Nope. <clears throat> Okay. Good. Any new stories? I don't know. What could I talk about for stories? Wait, food's ready. I forgot to eat breakfast today. Salad and a beef dip. Yo. Okay, let's organize my inventory while I wait. Uh, okay, we need to make a bow. So we want an unbreaking. Uh, or I guess our tools as well. Unbreaking. Silk touch. Silk touch efficiency, efficiency. Silk touch. Uh, sharpness is for our axe. Um, we want mending on all of those two. So there's mending. Let's line them up horizontally, I guess. That'll be easier. Unbreaking, unbreaking, unbreaking. Here, here. So we have two unbreaking books. We have a sharpness book. 
an efficiency book, a mending book. I guess we want efficiency five on both. So where's another efficiency? Efficiency, five. so unbreaking, we want mending and mending. Sharpness on one, soak touch on another. Uh, fortune three. I don't think we want fortune actually. Wait, shit, I'm level 40. Skyward. Okay. Wait, where's that book doing there? Oh, that's fortune, right? Fortune. Okay. Let's make our this now. We'll go boom, boom. Unbreaking efficiency. Bam. Other way around. Bang. Uh, so that's unbreaking three, efficiency five, mending, sharpness five. I'm pretty sure that's what our axe had. Unbreaking, mending, efficiency, sharpness. That seems right, yeah. It's a good sword. Yep, it's got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, that, that should work. Okay. Did you die? Yeah. We were on a thin bridge and a phantom knocked me off. No thorns three? No, we don't want things to attack us to take damage. Why are you grinding gear? Because I lost all of it? Because I died? What do you? What else do you think? What do we call this prime? Um. Speaking of thanks, uh, Jerry would love for the prime whoop boy with the prime. Tyson and comfy tree for the regular subs too. Appreciate it. All right. Where is this? Okay. Mending, 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 unbreaking, fortune, flame. I never got power. That's fine. All right, so we have everything back. Um, breaking, mending. Where's the music? I muted it temporarily, but here you go. I muted it so we could get our stuff back. We you get your mods for Mother's Day? Content. I got my mom content. I streamed with her. Uh, we did a stream on her birthday, and I got that edited into a video. Um, for her YouTube channel. So if you want to watch a video with me in it that's like edited and stuff, it's on my mom's YouTube channel. Why not build with disposable gear? I mean, it takes like 10 minutes to get it all back. It's Everything is really disposable at this point. It's just bad for morale because I'm trying not to die. Wait, do you have a mom? No, I've been lying this whole time. I, I don't have a mom. You fell for it too. <laughs> Idiots. Can't believe it. I can't believe you fell for it. You think I had a mom? Take all these out. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we need uh mending and unbreaking. And flame. Unbreaking. Okay, cool. Where are my Wait, where'd my carrots go? I bought carrots too. That's weird. I deceived all of you. You've been bamboozled and you fell for it too. It didn't thunder all day today. I just noticed. Okay. Let's get, uh... Unbreaking flame mending. We need power. I desire power. Uh, unbreaking flame mending power. I think that's all our bow had, right? Pretty sure that's all I had. Oh, my can Yeah, there it is. Right there. Thank you. Punch? No, punch sucks. What do we name it? Beans. 
All right, and we have everything back. Just need to make some dispensers. All right. You know what? <sighs> that kind of killed my my morale. I think we'll we'll finish this next time. Uh, if the lockouts are short on Thursday, because we are doing Minecraft lockout with um. A few different people. I'm not exactly sure. I think it might be maybe Crinios, Nerdy, Silver, Mustard. I'm not sure. I think those are the people that said they were willing to. So it'll probably be 2v2 on Thursday. If that is short, we'll probably finish it. Um, but I think I'm going to call it a day. That kind of that kind of killed my, my motivation for today. And I'm starting to get really hungry. And I have a lot of stuff to do because uh, I need to memorize the map for um, Wednesday's Pokemon race. How many eyes he died in total? I think 13 now. I think that's 13. So yeah, 178 hours in. I'm going to call it a day. We're going to find someone to raid. We'll finish that farm next time. Thanks so much for watching, though, everybody. I appreciate you guys sticking around today. Um, Let's raid uh, CJ. CJ. I feel like CJ is never alive when I'm still alive. I probably like raided him like three days ago and forgot already, but no, we're raiding CJ. Give CJ a good stream. He's doing Mincap's Darker Side, one of the hardest Super Mario Odyssey speedruns out there. One of the coolest ones, too. So you guys are in for a treat. But, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thursday, we are playing more Minecraft, if you're just here for Minecraft. Tomorrow, we're doing Super Mario Odyssey Online Hide and Seek with a bunch of crazy cool people. Uh, Wednesday is a Pokemon Four Way Race. With a bunch of, uh, also good content creators. A lot of cool collabs this week. But, uh, See ya.